We're rolling. We're hey, rolling. hey, we might be drunk. We might be gay. We're ambiguous. We got Superman here. I'm Super here, Jew. That's me. Beard Jew. Salak Jew. Superman. Gambit Jew. Superman. We got uh, Wolverine Jew. It's Halloween, yeah. man. Um, oh, that's the dog. Yes. Winnie. Dude. Yes. What's that? Millie? Winnie. Winnie. Can I pet the dog real quick? Of course, Pet dude. the dog. Hi. Oh, my God. Dude. Isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, what, so, can? what's the story? How old? She's 16. Gay? Ooh, Epstein. She's on the fence. Yeah. Okay. I think all dogs are gay or bi. A little bit. Yeah. All, yeah. Most animals Lesbo, actually. Yeah. Fuck I don't I think she's on, honestly asexual. She's just kind of okay. a cold, she's just kind of a cold bitch to anyone who comes near her. Oh, she I was kinda, nice to me. If yeah. all dogs go to heaven, then they can't be gay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you guys are doing coffee, but we'll get into a drink. I mean, oh, we yeah. we need oh, energy, yeah. but okay. yeah, we're doing we're drinking too. Okay. Uh, thanks for having me back, guys. Thanks we were, we were excited. I mean, yeah. I saw you in Charlotte a few, yes. a few, a couple months ago. Thanks for lunch. That was awesome. That was fun. Yeah, that was well, a good crew. And he was on tour. I was doing a movie there. We met uh, up. I couldn't come to his show because I was working that night. But we you hung and out Tony the uh, Cavallari. That's right. Tony oh, Cavallari. he's hot. You know who? You know him from. Um, uh, Righteous Gemstones. Uh, Righteous Gemstones. He played Ozzy Osbourne in the that movie, The Dirt. He's awesome. Really oh, funny comedic yeah. actor. He yeah, comes from great. an improv background. And he's a very nice guy. But he's a big fan of yours. He was uh, so stoked to meet that you. That was so fun, man. Yeah. No, we had the whole crew. Uh, Can I eat these candies? Please, these days, you got to ask everyone because of drugs in candy. Fentanyl. No. We got a tester. Oh, shit. Hold on. Fun, fun dip. You know fun dip was, the, like was you this guys... was like drugs for kids. Oh, Remember those? Yeah. It really was your first dipping in a powder bag. Yeah. Um, do you guys are not LA guys, but you've been to Hollywood Boulevard and you've seen yes. the guys that walk around in the soggy, sad <laughs> suit that <laughs> looks like like they want to be a superhero, like but a, it's like the butt's dirty and it's soggy and they're skinny. They're like a and dirty Pokemon. Nobody pays them. They're just doing it. Yes. I feel like that guy. Yeah. Because I can your see dick that. is showing a little bit. Oh, like, I, I, put put like, I got a small like right now. Out super small it feels like it's showing it's pretty big in red rocket tell. dude that, yeah. well that was a process that was a fake it was a hammer it was a hammer was it fun it to was rock weird a hammer? because i had to put my big dick in a smaller dick so that was uncomfortable no oh. um <laughs> no it was uh it was very awkward putting on the prosthetic penis yes it was the director who puts wife, it on you the director's uh fiance what um, who was the producer of the movie samantha kwan had to we had to get intimate pretty quick because she had to like literally i would put my penis in this other dick and she would like what? do this very very independent films they're just basically like paste it around my crotch and balls and we Whoa. had to do a test where I had to jog in place and see if it flopped realistically. Oh, that's it was awesome. Hot. Oh, it was awesome. And it was she's hot. Asian. Yeah, yeah so that Asian. must have been that you're even into bigger. That. Yeah, Quan. Yeah, that's Yeah. Uh so yeah, that was Sean Baker's fiance and they, she did so thank you Samantha Quan. There you go. Yeah, when I got I tore my sack in college jumping a fence. <sighs> Oh, and shit. they Jesus they Christ. had to stitch it up, but of course they brought the hot nurse in with yeah. my tiny acorn because I'm you know I'm in a doctor's room, it's cold, I'm nervous, so my ball bag's being sewn up, and then the nurse yeah. came in and put a gel on it, and I Did was you like, get hard. No, I was too ashamed because of right. how bad it looked. Um, this explains a lot of uh, women issues you have. <laughs> yeah, a lot of shame. Uh, but you got to send in the hot blonde, you know, twenty-two-year-old. I had that with a uh, you know I had a thing on my dick a while back, and the and the hot. They were like, oh, we have our student. Can she watch? And I'm like, can I see a picture first? Uh, Hot chick. Really? Yeah. She watched? She watched. Wow. And of course you're shriveled as hell. I'm like, of it's, course. it's not like, it's like, it's a bad dick day. Yeah, bad, bad dick. dick day. It's like yeah. a, uh, it's a full interview. For, it's yeah. like your dick's first open mic. It's but not you know ready. That, that grower shower thing is real. Like I got a couple friends who are just always packing heat like 24 seven. And then people like myself who have a little dick that can get big. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're just both. And then yeah. it's the guys with the permanent big hog that are just like, dude, th that must give you the big dick energy so much more to know, know. it's just showing in your pants. Yeah. And you could get pants at any moment and you're like i'm good so like yeah I, I was at a comedy festival recently and they do the naked roast which oh, i don't know why what? anyone would sign up for that Who's naked everyone or just the victims just the victims and the host oh, and wow. the, the the judges were i remember all naked. kurt metzger had a line about that roast where he goes just write jokes i know <laughs> like I know. how hard is it to just write right. jokes? well they did have jokes but i know but but i know what you mean oh look what at this the, this is this? killer we got blood that's brilliant today. Brilliant. Oh, is that te tequila? You're good, dude. Well awesome. played, Gambit. The, the Gambit outfit. Guy, I'm a tequila so guy. Awesome. This is great. What's Cheers, the... boys. Hey, Mazel Cheers. Tov. So now uh, we might be drunk now. What is the, uh, is it Kool-Aid? What do you got in there? Oh, no, I just donated my own blood. Uh, so this is pink grapefruit juice, well, right? now we're drinking Fuck, is this no, Magic no, no, Johnson's it... blood? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. He's mm. still going. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, oh boy! I'm trying to put down this coffee so I can drink this blood. Yeah, let me kill this. 
Hey, yeah, uh, so coffee and alcohol. Yeah, so this, is this the point of day usually where coffee transitions into alcohol exactly. or is it different every day? No, we usually stage. don't drink this oh. early. I mean, unless okay. we're podcasting. That's what I mean. Yeah, usually it's the pot. The pot, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pot mm. will force us. Mm. But, uh, so what have you been up to? You be back in the movie the world or you... Yeah, back in the movie world, but I can't. So it's funny. Uh, I had to remind myself on the way over here. I'm, you know, because of this strike that, uh, yes. you know, could be over any day now for the SAG part. The the writer strike's now over. So you see, SNL's coming back. Yep. All the talk shows are coming Wait, back. We were just asking, how come SNL is allowed to come back if I SAG is not complete? Because also, like Fallon and some of the other talk shows are coming back. I think it's the gray area between mm. it not being writing for an actor. So it's not really SAG because they're not actors; they're hosts, even though they also act. Right. I believe that I'm not smart enough to know this is just what I think that there's still the, that's sort of the gray area where okay now we could do talk shows and then eventually scripted actor show as well got it I okay think. that makes sense so yeah anyway I'm just glad shit's opening up but I, I'm not allowed to talk about all this cool shit oh. I did but I am allowed to talk about one that was so this is how it works is, is, is SAG has to give you a, a, a like basically waiver like g- give you the, a hall pass yeah. to talk about or promote online a movie that you did and do press mm. So I'm here for the New York Film Festival, uh, and I got a movie called The Sweet East, which is a really cool Sweet indie East. that was just in Cannes. So I was back in Cannes. It's so funny how I got into this like artsy fartsy like you know actor world because uh, after Red Rocket, right. uh, I'm doing these cool indies. So this one is like, sort of in that same world, like shot on film. Do you ever see a movie called Good Time? Yeah, it's uh, Safety, Safety Bros. Brothers. Oh, Robert yeah. Pattinson. Remember how cool that movie was? Great, Great movie. movie. Part of the fucking coolness of that movie was it was shot so beautifully by this the DP, director of uh, photography, uh, named Robert Sean Pattinson. Price Williams. Okay. He's the guy who shot that movie. Got and it. If you wanted a cool A24 movie or you're in Europe and you want a French artistic movie, this is the guy you want to shoot your movie. Yeah. So I met him in Cannes when I was there three years ago for Red Rocket, and he said, uh, I got a movie. I'm doing my first directorial debut. And I just knew it would be cool because he's such a good cinematographer. Yeah. And I knew he was such a film nerd that he would make a cool movie. And then I read the script and I play a white supremacist uh, professor who's a Nazi sympathizer who gets to drop serious, bad, offensive words that you can't say anymore. I'm like, I'm in. Wow. And I'm Jewish. So it was fun to play a Nazi (laughs) sympathizer. It's going to confuse the haters here. Oh, yeah, dude. Now, what about those people like, hey, you're going to have a trans person. You got to be played by a trans person. Are Mm. we going to go to the point where now you got to have a real Nazi? Oh, that's a good question not in this case Uh, Um, i guess not they got uh, the exact opposite yeah so exactly so but that was fun to play that so anyway the movie's called the sweet east it's um that's why i'm here in new york promoting it and uh hell yeah and the canceled people they need to play a real rapist like we bring them back right that's right that's how we get them back yeah Yeah. they gotta work well jim jeffrey said the great bit about like we well, have to be trans to play a trans person, but what about all the good-looking people who are playing ugly people? Like Charlize Theron is monster. That's right. That should go to a real uggo. A real monster. Yeah, exactly. That's progress. Yes. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's... Uh, that's is this like, the film that Tony's in as well? No, this that one we just shot, that's another movie that I... My first... I actually I got my first producer credit on that one. Hey. So funny, I just had to ask. Like, I've been acting for 25 fucking years. I've never got the respect. It's always like, stand here, say this, wear this, say it like this, which is fine. But, you you know, I got ideas. I'm not... Sure. You know, I Sometimes they're like better than the writer's ideas, just being honest. And I in this movie... I was. I simply said, "Hey, I want to be a producer on it," and they go, "Okay." I was, That's all I had to do this whole fucking time. Uh, so I had input on my wardrobe. I had input on rewrites. I'd be on set, punch like pitching jokes. They put them in the movie. I was like, "This is awesome!" Hell yeah! Um, you know, you see some actors who kind of take it to that level of like producing as well. That's kind of what I want to do because you know, so much shit out there, so bad. Oh yeah. That I feel like I I got some ideas. Hell yeah. yeah. You've been in the game just, long I'm enough. not just a fucking, you know, Jewish face. Yeah, well, you got a nice mug. Thanks. Uh, mm. But yeah, yeah. Good for you, because that's what I don't yeah. like about acting, is you have no control, you have no input, you know, they just tell you, do what they say to say on the yeah, paper. You literally have a mark. Go to that yes. mark. Yeah, literally stand there, yeah. wear this. Like, so, so, but some depends on the project. There's been some projects where they give you some wiggle room to improv, and that's always when, like, the best shit happens is when you're letting it fly. And I agree. So, so in this movie, though, The Sweet East, I was very much, I had to stick to the script. This guy, Nick Pinkerton, wrote it, who's mm. a very famous New York film critic that all the cinephiles know, and he was oh. he's a, a super intellectual, intelligent guy. When I read my lines, I had to 
Google like every other <laughs> word because I didn't know what the fuck it meant. He was so smart. So he's a film critic. He's a film and critic a who movie. wrote this oh, movie. That's so insane. It's insane. Yeah, and it's that's uh, kind of ballsy because now, yeah, now yeah, you next yeah. if you want to go back to criticism, hey. then they're like, well, your movie might have sucked. It's to like us. A, it's right. like a Jew playing a Nazi. Roger Ebert <laughs> wrote Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Really? Is that yeah. right? Didn't what? Know that. Whoa. Ebert was a great writer. True. I mean, he really. Didn't I mean, read his reviews are incredibly well. Well, written. if this guy gets trashed, you're like, "Hey, welcome to the yeah. club." So anyway, the Talia Ryder, who you're looking at right there, she's the lead. She's a great, uh, awesome young actor, and uh, so. Uh, this one was very much I had to stick to the script not a lot of wiggle room but it's okay it worked for this movie yeah. but then the movie you're talking about in Charlotte I did it's, it's called Operation Taco Gary's and it's coming out um, <laughs> don't know when we just saw the first cut it's so funny it basically we wanted to do a throwback comedy because I'm sure yeah. you guys will appreciate this there's no more good silly comedies in the world of like those 90s 2000s totally. comedies that are just you could put your brain under your seat for 90 minutes and just have a laugh and not take yourself so seriously or be too woke or be too politically correct or be too this and that we just went for it and, here here uh, good so, yeah I hope uh, um, yeah it's called uh, Operation Toggle Gary like, I'm first, also a Nazi first in this one producer credit <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that one is not a can no I won't All be a right. can that one will be a garbage can just kidding <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's actually really you like this one a lot I love it. I just saw the first cut and it's really fucking funny and the cast is great in it. So, oh wait, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that one, but I just did. Fuck it. Well, we can cut it yeah, yeah, out later. But mm. also, no, Simon the, is like an. I'm sorry, Marco. No, 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 I just think the world is craving that silly comedy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, Simon is like a legit ad, avid listener of this podcast. He'll text me. He'll text me like less guests. I want more than you. You and Mark. Oh. And then, but then he'll hit me up. He's like, I want to come back on. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got well, happy you're back because he's like a yeah. critic of our pod. Oh, it's oh, actually kind of pathetic. It's uh, it's weird because you guys and a few other comics, I realize, like me and a lot of other dudes out there. I'm sure you guys know this now. You guys have become kind of our soap opera. Like we know your guys' lives so well so from weird. listening to the pod. Yes, and we know who's got beef with who and who did this and who slept with a train this week and this and that and it's turning this thing where me and my boys are hitting each other up like yeah. did you hear this like as if we know you guys and I'm sort of in well, the you know diagram us. where I kind of do know you guys yeah. but it's it's really become this thing where a lot of guys my age and I'm sure younger and older um, you guys have become truly like a part of our life we listen to you when we're traveling in the car on the way to work right. it's like you're you, for instead of a middle aged housewife watching days of our lives we know you guys <laughs> lives now well, well women need to watch awesome. that horse shit I have, I have a girl who watches like I come home it's like beyond on deck on Same. Bravo. I'm like, this Below is fucking gar what, yeah, whatever. How dare you? Yeah. It's fucking trash. Well, we yeah, have shit. Makes I'm you dumber. A, yeah, I'm avid listener. I know you guys so well. And it's funny because normally out, and this sounds arrogant, but normally out in the world, people kind of know, like if I meet someone I don't know that well, they know more about me than I know about them. Of course. And that's how it is with you guys. I know so much more about you guys than you know about me. Hey. Well, we met during COVID. We just yeah. like kind of became pals during COVID. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, since then, I've like, you know, been watching. I mean, Red Rocket is such a you're given an insane you. performance, man. Oh, like, thank you. We've said on the pod you deserved an Oscar nomination. Yes. For I mean, these awards things are bullshit anyway. But like, you know, you were you were so good in that. And, Thanks, man. And there's like a narrative to those things. So now maybe that you got that one under your belt, it's like you'll get it for the next one or something. Right. Yeah, maybe. I. You know, it's funny. I never. It's just funny that that was. I remember when that came out. There was a lot of Oscar buzz around that movie. But Sean Baker, the director, writer, producer, editor, he told me he goes, "Here's what's gonna happen," and he was totally right. He goes, uh, "You were gonna get a great buzz for this. We'll probably win a Spirit Award, which we did. We'll win some mm. festival awards, but the Academy won't go near it because of the subject matter." It's about you grooming a girl who's 17 years old. Ooh, They're going to run the other way. Baby. A lot of and the voters are still very involved in that type of stuff. What's so. that? I was yeah, kidding. Exactly. I think the voters are still involved in that exactly. type of behavior. That's why they wanted to run the other yeah. way. It's a documentary. Um, so it was, I think it was a little heavy subject matter for the Academy, but like the uh, it's a dark Spirit movie. Awards, they're cool with it and they loved it and we got... Uh, Good. So we got some cool awards and it was just funny. Re it was, and I'm not, this sounds like bullshit, but I remember like the first time someone shared an article with me and they're like, uh, these Oscar pundits that like predict who's gonna win the Oscar and it was like Simon Rex 6% and I'm like Ooh. the fact that I'm even in this conversation is fucking hilarious that's killer I, ha I have such low self esteem I really people gamble on that <laughs> huh? people gamble on that it's a real thing my oh, friend yeah. Dave Juska will gamble on Ex the fucking dude. Tonys that's wow. what the oh, that's a manly thing. and gay at the same time <laughs> kind of like and, us right yeah here. We're, we're ambiguous yeah 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 <laughs> 
Wow, good for you. Six well, percent. Yeah, that's not well, nothing. Well, that was just for me. I was like, that's funny, and that's that's enough. And then the reality of like what that meant was actually kind of scary because I still ride the subway. Like I rode the subway yesterday. I still I flew coach out here because I had to get my own ticket, and I'm not that rich. Yeah. I still want to be able. You guys talk about this on the pod. You don't want to get too famous right. to where you fly too close to the sun. Yes. You want to kind of cruise to where you can still fly coach, still take the subway, and not be noticed. Agreed. And that's where I'm at in my career. And I was like, dude, an Oscar nomination would put me oh. in that no subway. I got to get first class now category. Right. I don't know. There's, some, there's some Oscar. Look up some Oscar winners. Uh, Matt, don't you think there's some Oscar winners who like yeah. we, who people we know, but people don't really yeah, know? It's cha- it used to be much more of a thing. I feel of like course. now no one cares as much. But anyway, lot, I mean, like, did how many people saw Tar? Like, that's an acclaimed right. movie. But, right. Exactly. Right. It's like. Right. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what's become so funny is that all the biggest like Oscar buzz movies, like no one's seen them. Yeah, it's uh, like late night for us. Simon, which, yeah. Uh, actor, do you sort of emulate their career? Like, this is the career I want to have. <sighs> you know, that's a good question. But I really, you know, okay. Oh, you know what, Bill Murray, because yeah. he's never once you've never really seen him do something that you're like that sucks, or if he is a part of something, it's not that's not the best. It's not because of him. And he's just steadily like he'll always do a cool indie movie. Mm-hmm. He'll do like he just kind of does what he wants to do. Yes. Like I saw him at Cannes when I was out there, and everyone's in a suit, and he's in a flowered shirt, and he just don't give a fuck. I love it. Yeah, he's like one of the last OG kind of like. Fuck you! I don't yes. like guys left. Him like and I Nicholson, heard. maybe. Yeah, Nicholson, but he's not around as much. You don't see him out as much. He was out of a couple working. Lakers games though, but it was like it was sad that it was like a big deal that yeah. he was out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like Winnie being out. You're like, fuck! It's sad that yeah. this is like the news. sunglasses are just because he's seeing impaired. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, uh, can, like, cool. Bill, so I would say Bill Murray to me has the ideal career because like he's just always does cool shit. He's just who he wants to be, and he just stays working. He'll just do a couple movies a year. That would be the dream. But um, agreed. Not comparing myself to him at all. He's just that dope and then i i was really lucky so it was funny when we were in can um we uh up for for red rocket we uh how it works is you wait in your hotel room to see if you win best movie best actor best director all this stuff and in can it's called the palm d'or and it's yes. the top eight movies i believe of the year are in that category so red rocket was in that category which automatically it's a win you're in like the top eight movies of the year and there was actually buzz going around that we could win best actor best movie all this stuff Ooh. and it went down to the very last second we're waiting in our hotel room and we didn't get it by like a very small margin the jury whatever spike lee was in the jury mm. it was a whole thing anyway the the production company was friends with Bill Murray and they go we feel so bad you got robbed we're taking you out tonight with a surprise and I go to dinner oh, and Bill Murray shows up to on. dinner Bill Murray sits next to me puts his hand on my leg and he's like so Red Rocket huh and he's like I'm just like what is happening right oh my this is Lord. not happening right now Bill, like and he was being so funny and he was fucking with the waiter and did I not tell this on the last no, one I don't I remember you did this tell it. Did oh I? really oh, oh, shit again. I'm gonna tell it again, tell it again. A- anyway the punchline the, the punch is we hung out all night we're walking through the streets of France. He's such a cool guy. I see him at the Vanity Fair party a few months later. I go up to him. I'm like, hey, Bill, what's going on? He looks me up and down. has no idea who I am. Yeah. Takes his wrapper of his burger and puts it in the inside of my jacket oh. pocket and slaps me on the chest and walks away. That's wow. amazing. And I was like, that's even cooler. That is so cool. Yeah, he he'll, just didn't remember me. He'll just show up to frat parties and you know yeah. bars and I buy everybody around. Story. I did tell that story. But there'll be a few listeners that didn't hear that last I know. And, and dude, you're one of those dudes that was so pumped, wanted to come back because I feel like the last episode, I mean, we even cut some gold because we had really? to. Really? Yeah, oh. well, you asked. There was a couple of things we couldn't oh, tell. Oh, Charlie like, Sheen. <laughs> oh, really? But okay. It, but it was, I mean, the stories we kept in were fucking gold. Good, oh, good, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I think it's also kind of like I know, I, I listen to the show so much that I feel like I could kind of just jump right in and zing and zang with you boys and uh, I get it. Some shows you go on, it's like you might not, like right now I'm getting set up with some podcasts that I kind of got to do the homework before and like listen to it to get sort of the tone of the show. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I hate a podcast with homework. Come on, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll give you some peeves and wrecks, but that's you know oh, some yeah. guys oh, people get annoyed it. with that even. Oh really? People, that's the best shit. I love how your guest the other day's dad called in with some peeves. Who was it? Your boy uh, you had Rick on? Rick Glassman. Yeah, and his dad oh. had a peeve. Like, <laughs> Rick, yeah. Rick is a polarizing guest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You the either love him or you hate him. Good yeah. numbers on that up though. I gotta say, he brings his people. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got the what, weirdos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, now. 
Uh, yeah, it was funny because if you just listen to it and don't watch it, there was those pauses that he was taking that you couldn't tell if he was fu- like if it was serious or not, which is entertaining and funny. Like, like he had, that's his shtick, right? Like he was kind of doing this thing. I'm like, oh, if I'm watching this, I think I'd pick up on it more. But I was driving and listening. But it was like a funny thing he was doing with you guys where he was like kind of breaking your balls and acting yeah. like he was really upset or whatever. You know? yeah, he was a little, little frosty that okay. day. He came in hot. Yeah. He just did an earlier pod and he was, he was a little... <laughs> Spicy. He's That's a spicy the thing too. Baby. Sometimes people come to the city and they just like rack up eight pods in a day, and you're like number five, mm-hmm. and they come and they're like, "What? Yeah, yeah. I'm like you asked on, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Exactly. What? You begged to get on here, yeah. But hey, so that- yeah, what else? So yeah, I, I'm going back to what you're saying though. The the Rex and the Peeves. That's one of the best parts of the show. And going back further, I did let you know once. I think just as a fan, if anything, when you have a guest on, it w- I love hearing you two just alone together. That my note was maybe you two guys do ten minutes alone before your guest comes in. We're that do way, more of that. we've been doing but that, that. Was just that's just my horrible idea. I like the note. Now, where'd you grow up? I grew up in the Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley, Bay Area. So did you do the the trick or treating as a, as a youth? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I remember back it was in the eighties. Uh, that your parents would have to go through all the candy because mm. there was, be, I don't know if you guys had razor this, where you grew up in New Orleans blade. and New York where there'd be like a razor blade. Which is yeah. insane because think about how expensive razor blades are. Good oh, point. Yeah. Well, it would actually be helpful because, yeah. you know, razors are not cheap. <laughs> You're hoping there's know. one in there. Yeah. Was that like, all right, perfect. Right. fear that there was like, ra- like that must have been everywhere because I remember the parents having to go through the candy and make sure it was safe. Yeah. This is also a weird thing is like a villain, like to get your satisfaction not in front of you. Mm-hmm. Like, I hope You're somebody like, got fucked up. Yeah. It's like the lotto, but yeah. like for <laughs> scarring a kid's face. You got to watch the news every night. Come on, kid. With so a I have another up uh, blood. Absolutely. There yeah. was a Snopes on this. This time, make it a Charlie Sheen. Mm. <laughs> uh, and uh, it did happen once, the razor blade and the apple. But it was done was by apple? the father to his own son. Whoa! Oh, so you can check out Snopes. That's in there. The it's apple don't time. fall too far from... <laughs> hey, there you go. An apple a day will kill your son. We might be Marvin Gaye. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, that was my note to you that time. I think I texted you, and I was like, oh, I love it when it's just you guys, so maybe there's a way to do both. But uh, no, I guess I... it all depends on the guest. But you two just together is just so All great. right. Okay. Until someone like me comes and hogs the mic and ruins the flow. No, we uh, like it, man. God we... damn it. Heavy flow. Good flow. <laughs> love the flow. We're just drinking drink blood flow. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, wait. Okay, sink. so, yeah. Halloween, poison candy. What else? Halloween. 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 Uh, well, there's abductions. Are you, are you a horror movie guy? Not really. You Me know, neither. I'm not. I, I don't want to pay to be. I kind of live in fight or flight all the time Same. as a Jew anyway. I'm always in this <laughs> state of like something bad's going to happen. So watching yeah. that to me, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm with you. My life's kind of a horror movie. Like, uh, yeah, not really, but in the sense that I'm, you know, like I feel that I got to work very hard at like relaxing. It doesn't do it for me. I'm with you. I did, no, see, yeah. I, I, I did see paranoia, paranoidal, what is it? Paranoid Paranormal activity. Activity. Paranormal. Mm-hmm. I saw it in a black neighborhood, and that was pretty great. That, <laughs> all black that's theater. Fun. That was helpful. That's always fun. Like, I mean, going in, to movies as a kid in Oakland was the best because oh, the crowd yelling at the screen was half the fun. I mean, I've said it before. I saw American Pie in a, in a black neighborhood, and he, you know, they show the pie all mangled, and some guy goes, "He tore that shit up," and the fucking place erupted. Popcorn went in the air. It was a, it was a hoot and a holler. The start of a comedy career, right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He got his first laugh. Adam Sandler said he got his first laughs. Zinging in movies. Really? Yeah, yeah. I probably told this last time. People always ask me, like, why do I want to get into show business? Which I actually never did. It kind of just fortuitously fell in my lap. But when I was 12 years old, I went to an Oakland A's game, and I was in the bleachers. It was $1 bleacher tickets. And I'm mm. in the bleachers with my boys. I probably told this on the last one. I don't remember this. Don't and remember it this. cuts, you know, when the camera cuts to someone in the crowd? So it cuts to me and my boys, we're 12, and I double flip off the camera yeah. on the Jumbotron, oh. and 32,000 people erupt in laughter, and I got this tingle obviously wow. that was like but it wasn't like at that moment I'm like oh I'm gonna go into show business but it was sort of a core memory or something that was like well that was special like yeah in the cutaway right away but everyone was laughing and I was like yeah you know I bet uh, that it lives on the internet somewhere we gotta find well, no because this was 1989 or something. there oh, yeah. was no nobody had yeah we at Stavi and I were on the board at the Liberty game they put us on the screen yeah and I know it took Stav like every every ounce of strength not to just immediately go <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, yeah. no, we were on the on the screen together. It was fun as hell. But like that moment, as a comic, you're like, do I want to get invited yeah. back? Did you yeah. kiss? <laughs> I kind of wanted. It. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Um, I was just watching this horror movie called. I didn't. It was. I don't like horror movies, and this is actually a peeve of mine. 
It's it's a really well made movie. It's a very good movie. It's called Talk to Me. You can look it up. It's I think it's Australian. Is it newer? It's new. Yeah, I heard about it. I've heard it's really good. Eight twenty four is killing it. Exactly. Yeah. They make good shit. It's a, it's a really well made movie. I think it's got crazy high Rotten Tomatoes too. But this is a peeve of mine, and I like horror when it's like either psychological or like. Yes. And this did have an element to it that was psychological, but. The premise is like there's a stone hand that's cursed and you and you grab it and you can let in dead spirits mm. to your body and you say, uh, you know, talk to me and then you allow the spirit in. But if you let them in too long, they overtake your body. Ooh. But it's like a drug for the kids. Right. It's a smart premise. Uh -huh. My issue is this. Uh. There are bad signs already. And I don't like 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 there's enough horror in your life to go with your saying when you bring upon you yeah. this unnecessary shit yeah like, there's I, there's another peeve in horror movies when the spirit takes over you and it's like and then yeah. you just hear a person be like run you know <laughs> that's a peeve like the and you're like what, what, what do we do this has been done to death I right, feel like right. but that's in the movie. Like, and yeah, then you're yeah. like, all right. But then they keep doing it till more and more bad shit happens. And you're like, you see people are suffering. Yeah, yeah. But I don't like dumb decisions. I think yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to. And, you know, I'm watching my girl and she's like, they're kids. And I'm like, I know, but I think kids are fucking dumb. I think yeah. The point. Like Scream had enough like comic relief for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Well, to me, the supernatural fucks me up. Like when they there's a comedy movie and they're like, but the kid made a wish mm -hmm. and it all came true. And I'm like, well, now I'm out of it. That's exactly right. That's how I felt with Game of Thrones. I was in until until dragons flew around. Thank you. As soon as dragons and yes. white walkers, yes. which is racist, but I won't get into that, start sure. walking around white, uh, I'm out. I'm out. It's like, then it's a sci-fi thing and you're talking mystical realms. Just keep it to your brother's fucking your sister and you're going to get decapitated. Yes. I can relate to that. We got when Dragons fly around. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. You know? Yeah. It is weird how much the brother and sister fucking used to be a thing. Because I, I, I talked about this in the previous episode, but like the Roman Empire. I was used to be. I mean, it's online, baby. <laughs> step bro, all that shit. But step. They yeah, throw this you're saying that's the number one looked up uh, porn is step family because yeah, some people want to fuck their number step one. It's number what? one. But I, I thought it used to be. Mo I thought it was step, mo not mom. Or oh, it's step anything. Oh, step by step, step by step, step ladder. Yeah, yeah you yeah. name it. Uh, Twelve steps. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you talk, so, so, yeah. So that's an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so they. Uh, you, but I think that goes back to like primal days of like fucking your sister, fucking your well, cousin. That's all you had when you that's were in your little village. Yeah, you know? some of these people had options. They were all inbred back in them days. All those Romans had options i think they were just like true it was like the arrogance of your bloodline right. yeah i think it was like oh yeah i was watching one of them and i think it was caligula and he was like uh he was like my sister and i are are pregnant we're expecting it everyone even then was like Ugh. Ah. except one guy was like a toast i'm like that's a survivor that yeah dude, right. he knew what he had to do right. you know? <laughs> the best yeah. thing about incest is you already met the parents somebody write that okay, down okay, guess okay, who's coming good. to dinner but it's just a regular <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's incest. so funny. Yeah, yeah incest. I'm that's good stuff. I'm an only child, so I can't relate. Oh, but it's you awesome. got lucky. <laughs> yeah, or I unlucky. Right. Well, I'd so here's the thing. Only child, so I, I, I'm a mess, but I had step family, so I shared my oh. toys, and I understood it wasn't just like me, but uh, not by blood. You know what I mean? Step brothers or sisters? I had uh, two step families. Oh, man. So my mom's busy. Up. Yeah. So now, my I, um, uh, I, growing up, I had two step brothers in San Francisco. I'll tell you, this guy's got more steps than an Apple Watch. Hey. Right? <laughs> and uh, one of my stepbrothers, he was like a savant, like he was re he's like really very, very intelligent and he was investing in the stock market when he was 10 years old. I'll never forget, he would, he would buy like the product of the stock he invested in and put it in the window of our house in San Francisco because in his mind it was a billboard to promote that product to get Whoa. more sales. Now obviously the numbers wise it's not going to sure, do that. Sure. But to think that way at 10. This kid's a would, genius. No he is. And then we would go to New York or San Francisco Giants games and he would sit there and count every stat and look in the chronicle the next day and if they were wrong he'd call them upset and be like you guys were wrong about how many pitch like he was like whatever I don't know what you call that. Autism. It, yeah some yeah. form of it. Some form. But, but hyper intelligent but yeah. like you know like yeah whoa but that is like what's he doing now murdering people <laughs> no yeah, he's he, counting he, cards he, in he, vegas yeah, yeah. <laughs> no he's in sales and he has a bunch of kids in san francisco and he's just a good dude but he was just like it was just interesting to see like you know that way of thinking because i'm just the opposite well, what do you think of san francisco is it is it as bad as they say on the news is it, it apocalyptic or the business yeah. going away is it fentanyl all day yeah you know i was just actually out there i was actually just with pete i wanted to take so pete davidson uh was doing stand-up up there so i wanted to go take him out in my hometown yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm like, bro, I'm always in New York with you. Let me take you around and show you some good food. It was so fucked. He's just so famous. We couldn't even go right, get lunch. Right. We would try to go get lunch. And, and nowadays with social media, not only do you get bum rushed with a photo without them asking, like this young generation of kids now with the phone, they just come up and film you and tag where you're at so you can't sit down and have lunch. Good because point. Because in five minutes, everyone's going to be showing up. Right. You know, and San Francisco's not like a showbiz town. So that's a big deal if like Pete Davidson's having lunch somewhere. Yeah. So unfortunately, we didn't get to do it. But so, but uh, to your point, I drove through the tenderloin. Him? Where would you have taken him, real quick? Uh, the, okay, so there was a few places. There's a place called. Um, uh, Swan, that's like Swan the, Oyster Depot. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the top ones. The it's always a line is the problem and waiting in line with him stuff. Uh, Oyster the, and Depot is not I'm a great combination. <laughs> uh, this is, but it's just like a real the, good OG. The San owner, looks, okay. the owner looks like Colin Quinn. Oh, yeah, yeah. fun! No, it's a real like like blue collar place where they're just shucking oysters and oh. like sashimi style fish and it's a beer. Bourdain, 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 I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really good. And there's a few Ooh. other places I, I'll mispronounce that are like some Asian fusion. But uh, anyway, to answer your question, it's it's. It's shitty, but it's no worse. It's, it is definitely uh, sensationalized in the media. Okay. For, I'm oh, sure they were so political. mad that Cash App guy didn't die from a random. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell that the media was just like, "Fuck, we wanted this so bad." Right. Yeah. Right. They oh, he didn't die. Him. He died, but it was oh. it was planned. It wasn't like a random. Oh, right, right, dude, right. There are random people that kill you, but yeah, so like the murder rate is way worse in other cities. New Orleans, sorry, crazy. Uh, Miami, you know, a lot of places. So the murder rate's not that crazy in San Francisco. It's more just like sh there's shitty crimes, like your car is going to get broken into yeah. because of the, the the very lax laws on like a theft under a thousand bucks, you don't go to jail. So it's just green light for everyone to rob out of your car, I see. which is like yeah, that sucks. Um, and you see it on the clips everywhere, and it's. Uh, it's shitty, but it's still one of the most beautiful cities. Beautiful. I love it. Great food. Great, you know, fucking great, great place to grow up. Don't want to live there anymore, but like so much culture there. It's kind of oh, like yeah. the New York of California. We have everything. Agreed. We get like, you know, it's like an urban metropolis. You get every type of, you know, sex, race, whatever. Come as you are, like whatever, you know. Here, here. So I, good place to grow up. Great place to grow up. Beautiful city. And yeah. the Niners, baby. Yeah. And the Warriors, baby. We got good sports. The balling, Woo! yeah. I mean, uh, the Niners are looking incredible. We're looking incredible. We just got to stay healthy. It's a, it's kind of nerve-wracking when you're this good in the beginning of the year. You want to get good in the second half of the year and not be uh, hurt. So, But they have the hope talent. We, we got the talent, baby. Oh, yeah. And it's just such a Disney movie. Like, the whole quarterback <laughs> story is just so unbelievable. Last Brock pick Purdy, of the draft, right? The Mr. Irrelevant, last pick, number three, get rid of him. And now he's coming out there putting up, like, MVP numbers. It's kind of insane. It's like a yeah. Tom Brady story. He's not as a Tom Brady, but he's like... Like He's that got kind the of best story. offense. He's Bay Area. Uh, Tom Brady's yeah. Bay Area. Exactly. There you go. And so I think so. Is my so guy Julian Edelman is a Bay Area guy. Oh, who, oh, oh, yeah. I met him the other day. He was at Pete's show, the, the yeah. wide receiver on the Patriots. Yeah, 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 he was a cool guy. He was backstage at Pete's show in, in LA. Uh, was shooting the shit with him for a while, and we were talking football. And uh, cool dude. Great guy. You don't want to fight that guy in a bar. He He's was a just looking. Really. I thought he was a UFC fighter when he first walked in. He's just built like a. He, We'll fuck you up. Yeah. Those are always the nicest guys. The guys exactly. Who fuck you up. Like UFC fighters, always uh, like a like a gentle lamb of They're a, so a sixteen year old dog. Oh, yeah. so I relaxed because they know uh, they'll fuck you up. They know it's the loud ones that talk shit. Exactly. That are the ones that are pussies usually. Right. I, was, I was in Phoenix and the fighter <laughs> Kelvin, <laughs> Kelvin Gaslam's at the show. Oh, nicest guy. Tough but dude. He, but he'll fucking. I mean, like he's incredible as a. Fighter. Oh yeah, incredible. And, and he comes in my room after. He's like, one table just wouldn't shut up. Ah. And I was like, can you imagine getting shushed by? a fucking just a badass professional <laughs> fighter and there's you like you're like fuck off and he just like stands up and you're like wow you don't oh, know because yeah. he doesn't look like no like he's gonna kill Short you Short guy tiny guy but he will fucking kill you yeah, yeah. you nowadays you can't fuck with him because you you, 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 never you, you don't just know the cauliflower ears sign number one but a lot of times some of i remember taking jujitsu for a year and then one day realizing oh i'm not this guy but i tried it for a while and i remember going into the class and being like so many of these guys you would never think and yes. they fuck you up yes. and they don't look you the part but like that just goes to show you like it's true it's like chlamydia you never know you the never dick know. looks the same but it's in there <laughs> that this shit is in there uh, even a school shoe you can tell like ah, I bet that guy's uh... either way you're peeing blood That's yeah. The point. <laughs> I, uh, yeah I did jujitsu for a year and it's like one of those things where I like golfed for a year too and after a while so, some things in life you got to kind of find out who you are by finding out who you're not and after I remember mm. I, I remember I had this epiphany Wisdom. I was in jujitsu class and I got this dude with my arms behind my back like ready to dislocate out of my shoulder and the dude sitting on my face oh. and I'm smelling his asshole oh. and I remember at that moment I had a thought I go I'm paying money for this <laughs> <laughs> and I never went back again Again. And if you I pay said, money, it should be a woman, really.
Totally. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. True. Yeah. True. Um, and I said, why am I, why am I doing this? Yeah. Uh, well, you learned some stuff. I learned a couple and, of things. Know. And actually, the one time I got in a fight in 20 years, I used it and it fucking worked. Yeah. Well, well, what, what happened I in the fight? Stood? Let's hear the it story. The crazy Bill shit. Murray? So, so I fly to Australia. <laughs> Bill what? Bill Murray, you beat him up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Muhammad Ali, his last fight, he got him. <laughs> no, so I fly, I fly to Australia, and as we know, Australians are ready to fight oh, at all times. Oh, yeah. And I fly to Australia. I was back when I was doing Dirt Nasty, this music comedy I persona that I had. My dick yeah. about cost the late nasty. night fee. Yeah, baby. Your dick got the, the HIV. HIV. I remember. Oh, nice. Did, did you just play? Oh, I thought I just Speaking heard. of HIV, can we get another round of a <laughs> yeah, bloody, uh, IV, yeah. bloody um, IVs I love here? that song. Wait, are you Spider-Man under there? Is that... Gambit. Gambit. Who's Ga Gambit? What is that? X Men. Oh, I, I've never seen X Men. The I'm not Creole. A guy. He's Creole. Yeah. He's oh, like so a, they're, oh, oh, so they're becoming more good. cultural marvels. Yeah. No, there's an older one. That's what I call uh, older Bruce what? Jenner. Oh. X Men. All right. <laughs> Here we go. We're back. That was good. Baby. <laughs> Put that down with the incest. Uh, <laughs> All right. Keep going. Uh, oh, yeah. So anyway, I, I'll kid. never forget because I was so mad at my tour manager. We flew to Australia, which is a very long fucking travel 20 day, hours. and we land at 5 a.m. and I have a show that night at midnight. Oh. Oh, and I was like, why mistake. would, and I, and I didn't realize we get there. I'm like, wait, you got me playing tonight? Oh my God. And I'm so obviously jet lag. I know you were saying jet lag takes you two days, but on that one, like you're kind of that day, you're like, whoa, well, I'm on the other fried. time zone. You flew on the other, totally. you flew yesterday. David Tell had a bit about that where he goes, the time change is so crazy. I land in Australia. I called myself. I picked up the phone. <laughs> Tell. Oh, the king, that's clean the too. Truly, I don't like when people overuse the goat. That's a peeve, but the goat. The goat. Yeah. That's how everyone's always like goat, goat. No, there's what you the greatest of all times, usually one, and, and Atel could arguably be well, who's one. better. Who's He's better? one of a few goats. Anyway. He just makes me happy. You He's, watch him and you're like, this is like you feel joyful. It's yes, a, you it's know it's weird. Comedy concentrate. He's like the the frozen shit in the orange juice can. You know, there's no water in it. Yeah, it's like yeah. He's sort of like because I, I remember living here in the '90s and going to comedy clubs and even back then, like in the mid '90s, he was out like such a fixture. And like my my good friend Jordan Rubin, who's sort of my conduit. Oh, no, Rubin. So, yeah, he, he's funny. He's, he's great, shit, and he was a yeah. comic, and he was friends with all the comedians, so he kind of got me in that world. Where's he now? By he's the way? Uh, he's in L.A. writing, directing, producing. Oh, great. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, uh, Gay porn? He, yeah. All right. He's sucking his own dick. Good for him. Um, <laughs> so, okay, the fight. So, I get to Australia. That's an I easy fucking, premise. <laughs> I land. I I have to party all day to stay awake. So, it's just like espresso, beer, speaking of coffee, just, just yeah. keeping it going. And finally, I get on stage. It was out of a movie. And the second I get on stage... Um, I grab the mic. I'm holding the mic, and a dude jumps on stage, grabs the mic, what? and yells "Australia!" and punches me in the face <laughs> with the microphone. <laughs> what the so, fuck? So I just remember. Wait, did you say anything anti-Australia to proceed no, I this? Just, it was the moment I got on stage. Without a hesitation, he and he, he bought and a you know, ticket like for this. A roll, yeah, and he's holding a roll of quarters, basically, which was Whoa. always I remember back in the '80s is how you yeah. wanted to punch someone. So he's holding the mic, and he punches me in the face, and I perfectly uh, uh, turn because I just remember like turned with you getting punched and I turned and I look right at my DJ and he just is like oh shit <laughs> and uh, it was like slow motion you know time kind of slows down and like yeah. a car accident or a fight or whatever and I just turned and the one year of jujitsu I, I don't want to sound like I'm tough because I'm a pussy but this is what happened I grabbed the dude by his like shirt and I remember if it's a t-shirt not a gi you t you grab and turn up and trip him and fall on top of him okay. and I did just who's, that who's, we wearing, who's wearing a gi to a well that's what they, well, it could be <laughs> one of your well, the, their argument in jiu-jitsu is a suit. Oh, a suit okay. is a gi. Oh, or a jacket could be a gi. Right. So it. this guy had a t-shirt, so you grab it, turn it, I trip him, and I land on top of him, and I just start bombing on him. And it was like Christmas story when he's beating up the yes! bully. Yes! And... and, and and I'm thinking, I'm beating this dude's ass. I can't believe I'm beating this dude's ass. In front ass. of an audience, A by circle the way. forms around us and is going, dirt, nah, stay. Dirt, <laughs> nah, stay. And I'm just socking this dude. And I'm like, this is the best show on earth. This looks fake like it was planned. And that and was Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and security grabs me off and they pull me to the side. They're like, mate, I didn't think you had it in you, mate. Good technique. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then they were kicking the guy out. I'm like, no, bring him back. I want to give him a beer. Wow. And they're like, yeah. And then it was He all comes good. back and immediately attacks you again. Yeah, exactly. It just keeps going. Uh, and then the next day, it was in the newspapers. What? Dirt Nasty beats up fan at show. Pull it up. Whoa. And it was the best press ever. Because then the rest of the Australian tour 
Is that you? No, yeah, that's a show. But this was in Australia. Just the rest of the tours, dude, is challenging you. So wait you. a minute. So it's, I don't know if it would be on YouTube, but it, it, this is so. Maybe so then article. the rest of the tour, I had this reputation as, ooh, he he's crazy. He beats people that's up. That's not good. And I was for the first time in my life, I was just laughing because I'm so not that guy. Right. That it was funny to be in Australia with this reputation, like, hey, he beats up his fans. Be careful with this guy. And they had security for the rest of the tour with me at all times because like they thought I was a liability. I'm like, you guys have no idea what a pussy. I I am. That was so fuck. It was just kind of funny to for a That's week great. in Australia be considered a tough guy. And I've never had that reputation. Now every Australian has a stereotype that Jews are tough. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks yeah. to you. Yeah, you man, that was, that was crazy. So and then yeah, that was. Uh, but yeah, back. But to, the reality is, is I'm really not a tough guy. But hey, you took the guy on in front of yeah. an audience. It, it was too bad awesome. it wasn't self defense. It really you was. Used it the it proper was way. So awesome. It was. It was like I. It, it's like it would. It was almost like all right, dude. I'm gonna jump on stage. You're gonna grab the mic. Yell Australian. Australia, Thank you're gonna you. punch me, then let me beat you up in front of everyone. Yeah, and then security's gonna put. It was like perfect. It was like a plant. It was perfect. Wow, what yeah. a psycho! So he yeah. planned that. I mean, what a nut. It, yeah, I, or was, was he a wasted? Moment. Yeah, he was wasted. Yeah, and then, but I knew the Australian way. I was like, bring him back, get him a beer, and it was like they hey. love that. They love that. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You're yeah. doing Australia. Yeah, I'm doing it. In I November. did it. I don't know, a couple yeah. months ago, and they they yell shoey. So watch oh, out. Oh yeah, shoo-y? you got to drink out yeah. of a shoe. Yeah. Shoe, and I just kept saying, shut up. All right, all right. But I did like 20 shows. So by the last one, I was ready. The, I went the to Walmart. shoeys will not replace us. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I met the guys who started the shoey. They're these surfer kind of like, Oh, really? Dudes. Yeah, they came to one of my shows. And they're the guys that like pioneered or started the show. No, actually. I think pioneered like, you know is such a weird word for that. <laughs> no, they, I think it was actually, a. there was like an argument where there was like a famous race car driver in Australia did it after he won. There's oh, some origin story to okay. yeah, why get, they're shoeys. But it's origin. just stupid. You're drinking out of a a dirty shoe. It's like, I went go. out and bought a shoe. I was ahead of the curve. I bought a shoe at Walmart. I scuffed it up a little bit and then they yelled shoey and I had my friend throw it to me. And I caught it and I did it. But I did it the last show because it was... What, what kind of shoe are we talking? It was like a Vans piece of shit knockoff white shoe. I have a video of it on my Instagram, but what's it? Tui Vasa, whatever that that UFC the, guy does the shoey every time. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, but yeah, Australia. Bert did it. He got laryngitis. No fucking yeah, way. Yeah, because it's just. Oh, here we go. Do a shoey, you cunt. That's all they yell. Uh, like, and the crowd's going ape shit. <laughs> So that one guy. You know, you know it's a bad you. sign when when Burt Kreischer's body can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let me piss real quick. I'll be right back. Piss. Okay. We, we just ha- got in here. All yeah. this coffee. It's the coffee. <laughs> it's the bloody yeah, tequila. All right. We'll hold it down, Mark. Don't hold worry. It down. Thank you. Winnie can take my mic for now. There you go. So see, it's a clean shoe. You can tell. Uh, did a package come, boys, that I ordered to oh, the studio? I want to give you at the end. I, I want to give you guys right a here. gift. Uh, no, I just oh, you got them there. Perfect. We'll do it later. I just want to see if. Oh, we I didn't know there's a secret I got a, package. I got a gift for, a gift for you guys. So um, yeah, it's funny because uh, you. So you just got back from Australia. Mm-hmm. See, this is what I'm saying. I know more about you guys than you know. You just were in Europe. Yes. You were in Australia. You know more about me than my father. I. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah. Your dad was a very. He was a businessman. You guys lived in a mansion. You had uh, that was empty. Shit. You got robbed. A lot for yes, your bike. Yes, there this was. Is weird. Um, uh, if I could remember the trans black woman yes. that raised you, this is scary. Her name was like uh, uh, Matilda or Olive Head or something. Close, uh, close. Not uh, not really. Think uh, of penis. Regi- Regina uh, Enos. 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 I mean, the penis. you can't make this shit up. You can't make it up. And she hooked up, or he hooked up. It was a drag queen. I got queen. murdered. Hooked up with a guy. Got murdered in a, yeah. in a van. You've told we that story him. a lot, though. So that one's not that crazy. You, that's a that's a great story. I've yeah. heard that one on a couple different pods because that's whoa, that's, that's some real shit. All right, um, Enos. New Orleans is a rough town, man. Everybody's like, you're going to New York. You yeah, watch that's out what out I'm there. saying. I'm like, no, New Orleans is way scary. That's when people like talk about how San Francisco's so out of control. Like, yeah, it's a little sketchy, but every major city. And New Orleans to me is where like, oh, you'll just disappear out here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I tell you the best? Okay, real quick one. I know I'm a lot. I'm a lot. I'm a lot. Bring it on, I'm a lot. Uh, My one of the funnest... One of the funnest nights of... Did you have this dog since puppy days? No. The dog's 16. So no, I'm saying so the new, dog. New you got it as a puppy. No, or? it's my girl. Oh, it's your dog. girl's she, dog. She adopted her. At like oh, that's cool. At the nine. girl you go to hot yoga with. Yeah. See, I know Ooh, your life too much. No, my yeah. nine. Hey, Dude, come on. She uh, adopted her at nine. She's 16 now. I mean, she just adopts old. She's dogs, got the body so of a 15 year old. <laughs> um, <laughs> it feels bad they're gonna you know die in a shelter because people take them back. So I get yeah. it. I get it, man. You get so attached to those fucking things. I, I I found a lizard. I live in Joshua Tree, and I found this very rare lizard called the horny toad. If you want to pull it up, and they're so beautiful and rare, you can sell them for like three grand. 
into Germans or really? some weird country. And I caught one and I put it oh, in a jar goodness. and I live alone out in the desert. This in one day I got attached to a lizard. That's <laughs> how much pets. This was a cold blooded lizard that But enough about the real housewives. No, this was a real lizard. <laughs> and I put it in a jar with a little like sand yeah. and a little fake tree yeah. and I slept next to my bed with this lizard and I swear Jesus. I had to let him go the next day and I was like I'm like, I'm actually sad to let this little buddy go. I'm like, that was one day with a fucking lizard. You'll never Imagine get how abortion. attached you get to a dog. I they're know. The best. Dogs they're the fucking, fucking best. Great. Speaking of abortion, is that what this is? Is this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is like Planned you know. Parenthood? Okay, real <laughs> quick New Orleans story. Can I? Yeah, please. Can I? please. I know, like, I'm sorry, guys. No, we yeah. love it. Nola, baby. Um, and you guys are, ba let's see that picture of Pacino. That's you guys when I'm talking. Um, uh, so <laughs> I go to New Orleans with my buddy J.E. and his manager. J.E. is a guy from St. Louis who produced a lot of Nelly hits, like mm. uh, Country Grammar. Remember that oh, shit? Oh, do I remember Country so Grammar? My boy's like a, the, he's like a white boy producer and he's like the man in, in St. Louis and he, he, I'm shooting a movie in New Orleans he's like we want to come to New Orleans so he comes yeah. down and we're drunk in the French quarters eating barbecue at one of those like make shit not like, like it's just in a barrel like someone rolls it up and you're eating the barbecue sure. and my boy who's from St. Louis is like man this is the best barbecue sauce what? I'm bringing some back so he goes I'm bringing some back so he buys a jar of barbecue sauce in the street and we're really drunk at 2 in the morning and these two uh, black guys come up to us uh -huh. and they go y'all want to see the real New Orleans and oh. we're so drunk we go yeah and <laughs> jump in their car whoa me a Jewish manager and this big white dude who makes Nelly's hits who's a tatted up big white boy yeah. and we jump in these strangers car and we drive to the hood oh boy. in fucking New Orleans oh and boy. we're so drunk we don't even think about what we're doing we get there and we get out of the car and it's like one of those movies in the 80s like when Chevy Chase pulls up in vacation to the wrong neighborhood like you know what I mean like yeah, which yeah, way yeah. to the freeway man fuck your mom like one of those moments <laughs> And we get out of the car. Oh, what's, oh yeah, Nelly. Cut it. Um, Royalties. And uh, <laughs> so I, we get out of the car, and dude, out of this is out of a fucking movie. I love we it. We walk up to the club with these guys we don't even oh, it's know. A club. We go to a club with these guys. They want to show us the real New Orleans. There's a, a, a oh, old I this black. This was like a trick. I didn't no, think they were taking real. you out. There's an old like classy black man in an all white suit out front at the door to the club we're the only white people inside you're in heaven they killed and you <laughs> 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 and the, and my boy as we walk in drops the barbecue sauce it shatters on the ground all over the dude's white oh. suit oh if you step on sneakers, you're done. Imagine a white suit barbecue stain. Everything stopped. Everyone looked at us, and it's me and two other white boys in the hood that spilled barbecue sauce on the dude's white suit. That is the whitest thing possible. Ever possible. And I'm just, in that moment, I'm like, we're done. And he looks down at his suit, and he looks up, and he goes, man, it would be the only white boys around here spilling barbecue sauce on me. Get your ass in here. Wow. And he let us in, and they loved us, and they put us on stage, and they had these girls, it was called a bounce club. Oh. Oh, Nobby. I know Bounce. So Bounce is like the genre of music in New Orleans that's called Bounce music. And Sissy Nobby is like a famous bounce artist. And it's sort of like a, not, it's like Miami booty bass or whatever. And all of a sudden we're on stage as like, we're the joke. And we're getting these girls barefoot are standing on their hands, booty clapping us like we're like, wow. ping, like we're pinball machine. And we're just getting ping pong on stage. And you just see the whole crowds laughing and that's loving That's incredible. Us. It was the coolest, most fun time wow. I ever had in my life. You DJ and Qualls and Road almost, Trip. Yeah. Dude, did you start doing some some it, nasty? Did no, we were just on rhymes? stage having a good time. And it was did they know you it. rap? No, they have no idea who oh, we were. That it was just we were minds. a novelty because they were like these white dudes must be crazy to be in the hood like this. Who are they? Put them on stage. Yeah, and, and it but it started with the barbecue sauce on the fucking suit, and I thought we were dead. It was amazing. Out of and he he let us in. It was it was so how good. great would what later, a great moment. They're hung over and they're like, was that the guy from Felicity? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> There's yeah, a that's little bounce. bounce. So was that. I was. We we're getting it's, bounced it, on stage. It's all twerk music. But I'll, I'll be honest. I had more fun at that party than any douchebag Hollywood fucking showbiz party. Yeah, I just don't yeah. like. You know what? I'm. Do you, I, still, do you go to them? I. So you kind of have to. It's part of your job. You got to go. You know, meet people, and you know, like with. It's you, you do make connections in this business are just as important as almost anything else. It's like who you know, and when you go, yeah. sometimes you're led into like the van. Like I remember, I went to the Vanity Fair party the last couple years, and that's where like only the select people get in and that's where you're meeting everybody wow. and they let me get your number and you then you do a movie with that person sure. you know what I mean it's like that's how I met Todd Phillips I met him at the Soho the king your boy I met him at the Soho house 
the, it was the first time I ever went to the Soho House, which for listeners is sort of a exclusive high end Hollywood and worldwide. It's uh, kind of a club. club. It is, yeah. but but it's where like people go that are you know making money and networking. It's kind of like the first class lounge compared to their other restaurant. So the second the elevator doors open, my first time ever in Soho House, one step, two step, Todd Phillips comes up to me and he goes, "Dirt nasty, big fan." Whoa! Simon Rex. Get his phone number. Game. Next, next thing you know, game. we're working on shit together. He's putting my music in his movies. He put me in a movie. Whoa. He EP'd a pilot I did. What movie? Uh, the movie was called, it was like a party movie. I got edited out. It was ah. um, It was a party movie where it was the whole thing was a frat party. He was producing I it. I forgot what this And called, he was yeah. directing it w- from on the phone, giving me directing notes while he was doing Hangover 3 in Bangkok. Holy And he was calling, shit. and the movie was called like... Sir, fuck! I have no idea, dude. It's sure you could find this. Anyway, anyway, whatever the fuck you're doing, I'm not it, lying. It it's a real movie, but okay. I'm not. I, I think in the end, I'm in it for a frame because we don't know. It's That's a Todd Phillips produced it movie, and it's about a party. It probably came out Old in like 2011, 12. Anyway, that to my point, that's kind of like how that's, important those rooms yes, are, yes, and how far that could go is just like, hey, Project X. Project X. There it is. I thought this, yeah, Project X. Yeah. And if you get there's in the DVD outtakes, they have my full scene in it. But okay. Uh, anyway, but the, that's neither here nor there. I got to work with Todd and become friends with him, and now he's my boy, and he's the best. And yeah, it's just guy. like those relationships are shit that your agent and manager can't even get you you know what i mean that you, you gotta it's part of your job is to yeah. go like be in those rooms so totally um i just feel like i have imposter syndrome like with other actors <laughs> i don't feel like i'm really so funny is you saying that in the superman outfit. <laughs> yeah. i just feel like i don't fit in yeah. you know? uh, well no it's myself. true like I, but i feel like I, do you guys have this i feel like i don't fit in anywhere I have this everywhere. No matter what I've done in my life for a career, I'm like, I'm not one of you guys. And it's, pro- it's probably just me being insecure or low self-esteem, whatever it is. But I don't ever feel like I'm part of a group. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, like I know a lot of comics, but I'm not one of you guys. I work with actors, but I'm like, but I'm not really one of you guys. When I was rapping, I'm like, I'm doing this as a joke. I'm not a real rapper. Right, like, I'm never. Those, I think that makes you almost like, I mean fit in everywhere instead of not fit in mm. everywhere oh yeah chameleon style baby and if you did fit in someplace you might not be as driven yeah i think that the not fitting in makes you kind of like kick it up a notch like also, i'll fit, what do this fitting i'll do that even mean i feel like, like i feel like comfortable with mark because we've been friends for so long yeah but i don't feel comfortable like it, the bigger the group the less comfortable i feel oh, like, and that's totally. da- group think is so dangerous you just yeah. see look everything that's wrong right now is just sort of large group thinking that's just so not like i feel like and this sounds so corny but i'm like a lone wolf who doesn't want to be in a large group because i feel Same. like that's where that's dangerous in a weird way like all the bad shit you ever see from cults to politics to whatever it's always like group thinking Yes, you know? and people always say, "Be yourself." You got to find you, and then when yeah. you be yourself, they're like, "That's not what the group yeah. thinks." You're like, "What? I thought we were all supposed to be individuals." Yeah, and, and now then, you're mad at me for being an individual. And then what's the uh, Adolf Hitler quote? I would never want to be a member of a group that would have me as a member. <laughs> <laughs> That's Groucho Marx, but yeah, <laughs> oh, the Marxist, right? That's what I meant. There you go. Um, <laughs> be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Adolf Hitler. There you <laughs> go. Another good Hitler quote. <laughs> you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> Big Hitler. Wait. So uh, what else were we talking I think about? That was Wayne. Gretzky. <laughs> uh, so what does that clock mean? Is that uh, is, this, uh, is that real time or uh, how, real time? Let's keep it about an hour, With right? Bill no, we go. We go. This is a long app. This is a oh, it is. App. This is a special. This app. is a creepy. Oh, episode. Buckle up. We got people coming. Oh, I love by. it. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, um, we got trick or treaters. Um, yeah, we got kids coming. So talk and you got. Dick. I know you got. Oh peeves. my god! What is this? this is Christmas. It's red and green now. What is that? Uh, a spooky shot. shot? These are, I found hypnotic in a liquor store. Uh, yeah, the, oh, speaking the, of black club. Can I give you guys the <laughs> best. I have the best. I got the best stories. I'm Hell sorry. yeah. I got, yeah, I got the one, best hypnotic story Ooh. ever, dude. But these are for you, Simon. These are tequila, incredible hoax. Okay. I gotta go to um, uh, my movie premiere tonight. I'm gonna be <laughs> fucking hammered, <laughs> and I gotta f- get on stage and talk like within the artsy fartsy oh. New York Film Festival. And I'm gonna get up there and just be like, I was just thought we might be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna hire me to pretend to be an Australian? I'll punch you. <laughs> yeah, It'll please. get great buzz for right? the movie. No, but that seemed fake. But that really happened. Simon Rex um, does it again. Yeah, baby. Are we getting a photo right now? Is yeah. that what we're doing? Hey, Let's do this is getting off the rails, baby. So, okay, hypnotic, you ready for this one? Hit oh, me. this is a good one. So, this girl, fuck her, this girl, 
Um, I'm not going to say her name because I don't remember it. Uh, Years ago. <laughs> Demi Lovato. Um, I, she calls me up crying. This is probably, oh, I remember boy. I had my phone was the LG phone with so the So far antenna. it sounds like any woman. <laughs> this, I'm going to say this was like maybe 05-ish. And uh, I get a call and I was in New York visiting my boy. I was driving, I'll never forget, I was driving down Central Park and I answered the phone and it was like the LG flip phone days. Like, yeah. Oh. And she's crying and she goes, I'm pregnant. No! Oh. And I instinctively, this is back in the Western Union days. Okay? Jesus Christ. This is like the old Wild West, like 20 years ago. She goes, I'm pregnant. She's crying and she's doing such a performative good job that I don't even think about it. And I'm like, oh, okay, what do you need? She's like, just, could you please, just Western Union, $350 to Texas, or wherever she was. I don't even think about it. I do it. Then afterwards, I'm like, wait a minute. I wore a rubber with that girl. Oh, all the trick in the book. She got me, and I was like, well, good acting. She got me. Yeah. I'm going to have to just let it go, and what am I going to do? Like, okay. And then my boy hits me up a month later. He goes, hey, this girl's drunk at the table bragging all loud about how she got you for 350 bucks and pretended she was pregnant. Oh. I'm like, this bitch now is going to get it. Yes. So I go to a club in L.A. and <laughs> Simon I see murdered her. a woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see her at the club. Black doll. Okay? That was it. I see. And by the way, when I call her bitch, it's justified at this point. Of of course, she stole okay. from you. Yeah, and, and lied to me. So I know. Yeah. So so <laughs> okay. I go to the bartender and I go, "What's your stickiest drink?" And he goes, "Stinkiest." I go, "Stickiest." He pours me a hypnotic with some other syrupy drink. And then he in jerks it. off in it. <laughs> and I go up to her. I just I see her and I go up to her and I tap her on the shoulder and she turns around and I pour the Ooh! drink on her head in slow motion. And it's just dripping down. And she's like, <gasps> and of course, I look like the asshole to everybody right. who's in the place. Good and security you. picks me up and carries me out. And I get kicked out. And I'm just like, it was worth it. Yeah, totally. It that it. is such a the real housewife way to fuck someone over. <laughs> I uh, threw a drink on her. No, poured. Fuck you, Clarissa. Poured slow motion. Yeah. It was so grat satisfying, gratifying, gratifying. Yeah. And I poured <laughs> it on her head and just to look, it was like Carrie, like yeah. the movie Carrie. And I, it was just, re it was sweet revenge. I and, love it. And it was almost worth it just for the poor, the 350 bucks. Hell yeah. And like good, good acting on her part. I'm such a dweeb she when you said me. stickiest. Uh, I thought that was like a slang for no, strong. But you actually dude. wanted something sticky. That would to... screw in her night. I love it. So anyway, yeah, that was... Uh, uh, that happened. Well, she probably paid three fifty for dry cleaning, so mm. you got her there. Yeah, fuck. I her. had a girl once uh, Venmo request me. Uh, we had we hooked up, and she flew to New York to hook up with me, and it didn't end well. Like we did not like I was mean to her, but I just didn't. You're end busy up dating on her. We didn't end up dating. I ended up dating someone else. And, Girls get mad. We and don't. She date Venmo request me for the flight. Ah, and I was like. Pay. I didn't even want to think about it. Yeah. I was yeah. like, you're not taking up real estate in my mind. Well, in all Here fairness, my mom is Jewish and she wanted. <laughs> um, I fuck Simon's. Mom, that's this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that's Here's bold, though. The Venmo <laughs> request. Oof. Wow. We Could I? I got peeves. In Please. Mind. We love I mean, peeves. Spe uh, we're, we're, it feels like we're getting towards a venting time of. Uh, no, I, I noticed on the show you guys will get into peeves or wrecks early and then you could get back out of it. Right? It oh, dude, we, yeah. we go wherever the pod takes. No rules. I love it. We baby. have the format just to have a couple things to always Yes. Hit, okay. But... I'm drinking HIV here. I love You're it. wearing a Superman suit. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Go baby. nuts. Okay, here's one. And if I've said this on the last one, we... uh, okay. Um, when you're talking to somebody and in the middle of you talking to them, they get on their phone. Oh, yeah. But here's a rule. If I'm already on my phone and I'm texting and you start talking to me, you're in the wrong, right? Oh. Because I'm already in this. And don't make me don't make me feel bad I'm in my phone. You saw I was in my phone. But if I'm mid-conversation and I'm talking to you about well, like well, my wait, dad. What, what were you saying? I just got to see that's something it. real quick. Yeah, that's it. It's like, yeah. and, then they, and, then, and then after they're done not listening to you, they don't, they don't even come out of them and go, oh, what were you saying? Yeah. It's just lost and you just sit there and you're just like that that's really annoying um yeah. and i try to never do that so if i'm like at dinner and i feel the phone vibrating and someone's talking to me you just gotta let it vibrate you don't pick it up no, no. self-defense versus you know yeah your first, it's I just mean, phone etiquette I, I'm with my, you. my girl does it all the time where like i'll be writing a text to someone and she'll start talking to me i'm just like you that's gotta let fault. me finish that's her fault yes. listen, i'm not gonna do it while you're talking that's right but yeah, that's on you, her. You got to set that's those very, rules. It's a it's a new peeve. And yeah, it's a very 
logical, Pete. It, Very logical. Because so, I was in the middle of something, and you started talking. Right. Now I have to give you attention, and if I don't, you're mad. But you interrupted me. You, you interrupted me, and yeah. you're making it like you're, you're always. No, it's like well, no, we're always all on our phone now. So, but that's not the point. It's that you saw me on my phone first. You're Great, the, Pete. You're a horrible person. You can say, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Can I just bother you? For, you have to at least address yes. that you're in the wrong. So yes. with the ex girlfriend of mine, we had to have a talk about it. We go, here's the rules, and we establish it, and everything was fine. Oh, good so for you. communication is key. Okay, here's a here's one in L. A. I don't see it out here too much. Bring it on. Same face girl. Every girl now <laughs> has the same mathematical face. The they fake have the lips. same lips. Yep. They're, and they're 25 years old doing work on their face. Yeah. What, what are you know? doing? You're 25 Crazy. and you all want to look like the same... Person. Agreed, agreed. That's how I feel. That was literally angled right into my yeah. sorry, well, sorry. I bet he thought, do I go to the guest or do he knows you I, better? Yeah, I know him Look, better. Mark and I are old friends. He's allowed to yeah, fart yeah. in my oh, mouth. I wish I, if I have one, I'm going to rip it. Uh, rip it up. Um, I got to pee. If people farting in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, same face. Every girl is starting to have the same face. And it used to be old ladies in Beverly Hills you'd see driving by in a Range Rover that want to look like Angelina Jolie. Sure. And they look like a cat. Yeah, but now it's girls in their twenties are all getting all this work done, and it's been super normalized, and it's okay. Yes. It's like, no, it's not. I think that's for other women because us dudes don't like that. We hate it. And my we, wife is young, and I see what she gets it. I'm like, what are you doing? What She's is like, it? Uh, fill, it's just is it just filler or botox? It's botox. Okay, so that's, that's women get prevented. I guess that's botox, lesser of well. the bad. Yeah, it's more when they actually get like work done because I don't even notice botox, and I, I, I mean, guess I don't notice them. Yeah, they're all but the same. You're they right. They all have the, the same. same hair. Face. And and I swear it's almost like when dudes go to the gym too much. Yeah, you're doing that for other dudes. Yes, that's exactly. not for women. No, if you're just funny and skinny, you can get laid. You don't need to go to the gym. You're doing that for other dudes. Good it's quite comparison. homoerotic. It is. Or like spinning rims when those were things like that. Oh, ain't yeah. for girls. That's for another dude to be like, you're cool. Great point. What are you doing? Yeah, you might be gay, dude. Oh, that's the new show. And, and we might okay. be gay. And that's okay. That's okay. But, but at don't least own pretend it. you're doing it for women because really they don't give a fuck. And the type of woman who does give a fuck you don't want to be with anyway, who right. just wants to be, you know what I mean? Right. Like, fuck your quads, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I'm with you. There's too many of this. Like, any girl who's doing this all day. Oh. Uh. And I'm out. I'm it's out. It's also hilarious how women know their angles so much better than us. Like, Mark oh, and I yeah. will have a female guest and we'll take a picture with her. And Mark and I both look like in the picture and they're just like, their angle is like perfect. Yeah, yeah you know? they know what to do. They know what to do. They know how to take a photo. Well, I think part of the problem is these Instagram filters have made the expectation so perfect. Like they could auto tune their face. <laughs> they do all these things that it's like now the, the, the goal is perfection. It's yes. like the golden ratio, whatever that number is of the, the universal uh, beauty math. There's like an actual mathematical equation. Can you pull it up? It's called the golden ratio. Yeah. And I think it's, it's like the Fibonacci sequence, which is the nature one, but this is more for women's face that around the world is agreed as what's beautiful for the standard and it's the eye space it's the nose to mouth ratio mm. it's the width and it's agreed by every culture of what that is and they're all trying to get that face but it's not real so therefore I see right through you and you're not real and I don't like you interesting yeah you know what the craziest one is is uh, a lot of Asians are getting the eye surgery to uh -huh. open them up and you're like what are you doing they're doing that a lot and they're getting skin lightened they get their yes, skin lightened they the want lightened. to become more westernized and a lot of Americans are getting their eyes closed to look more like Clint Eastwood. So everyone's a loser. <laughs> Wait, does, yeah. why, does Clint Eastwood have Is he like this? Oh, no, I don't you, know. he's always no. uh, squinting. I why? almost got my car bashed in by Clint Eastwood. I yeah, I parked in his parking spot. He's got a Hollywood story for everything. Man. I parked in his parking spot at the Warner Brothers lot in like 1999. I was like Felicity Days or something. And you I'll like never forget his offices were right next to like where the Friends, we were shooting right next to Friends. Okay. And I remember I had a Porsche and I was a cocky young actor and I was making a lot of money and I was just stoned all day and I didn't care about anything. Hell and I was yeah. a dick. And I remember I pull up into a spot and they come out, they run out, they go, hey, 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 that's Clint's parking spot. If he comes back, he will bash your car in with a baseball bat. Grand and I was kind of like, I hope he does. Uh, yeah. Just for the story. It, like, I want him to bash my car. And how fucking cool would that be if Dirty Harry beat up my car? Right. And I left it there for like 15 minutes and they were so pissed. But I got out of there before he. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. That was the. Yeah. he. That would have been a great camera. You feel moment. lucky, punk? Ooh. Yeah. And then on the same lot, I played basketball with George Clooney. Jeez. He, and yes. I swatted him so clean, swatted him so clean. He went That's for a layup, feel good. and I muffed it, and he goes foul, <laughs> and oh. everyone on the court goes, oh. oh. And I go, really? He's, 
like, you hit me. I'm like, I'm not going to argue with George Clooney, but wow. That was all ball. Wow. Was it this was so ER all George ball. Clooney? Yeah, or was ER he already George. a movie star? Oh, he was ER hunk. George Clooney. Because it was like late 90s. Sexy. And then but I he knew he was on the fast track calling fouls like that. So I found, find out later, because I would play pickup with these guys, and it would be like some of the grips from a show, and some of the, we you know, and Clooney would play. But I remember one day I'm playing out there, and I guess he was very contentious with him always calling fouls that weren't really fouls. And he so was you like hear the, the same thing about Obama. He called a lot of fouls. Is that right? Yeah. Mm. It's, I think when you get super famous, you feel entitled to a foul call. I think you're right. And also, I think like, yeah, you you everything else goes your way. So yes, just... I would think you'd want to be humbled in the opposite way, but maybe not. But anyway, I, this so this fucking grip or some cons- one of the guys who wasn't an actor and he calls a foul. Uh, uh, um, Clooney calls a foul on this guy who's obviously like a blue collar tough guy who's yeah. working on one of the sets and. Clooney gets the dude in a headlock. Right? What? And and he's like this. And and it was like, oh shit. And immediately the guy reverses the headlock Ooh. and gets Clooney in one and is on top of him like this. And everyone goes, no, 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 no. That's a $20 million face. Don't yeah. do it. And I remember seeing Clooney's face just sticking out of the thing. And this wow. guy was going to muffle him up. And I was like, oh shit. And the dude didn't punch him, but he just had him clean. And it was like a basketball Hollywood fight almost happened. And I was like, this is incredible. That was a rough game. And as he did playing. it, Matt Damon was walking out with all his money. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to come with <laughs> Uh, no, Clooney. Uh, by the way, Clooney should do this podcast. I feel I like he's, he's a Casamigos guy. He's a liquor True. guy. I feel like he he's a comedy fan. I heard him on Marin. And he really? Was, he was cool as fuck. He's a big comedy fan. Very I'm putting out of the universe. George Clooney, come on, we might be drunk. Come on, we, Clooney. We're fans. We're big fans of your work. Yeah, and your wife. Yeah. <laughs> and your work. No, sure. Out of Sight's one of my favorite movies. Great movie. That's Out a, of Sight. That's a great movie. He's great awesome movie. as a bank robber in that. Also, Elmore good, Leonard. Good director, too. Yeah, so did Oh, Elmore Leonard. Isn't there a movie about him coming out? Oh, wait, is there? Yeah. Really? He I wrote all, so. those, all those cool books. Oh, never mind. I just read one of his books. I'm confused. There was the Detroit bank robbery one. Yeah, that's name. a lot of his shit. He's yeah. great. He's great. Mm. great writer. But uh, dude, uh, I got also, good what you said about stars calling shit, I know a guy who played in a pickup game with Kanye West. And apparently, what? he called goaltending. Uh, it's like old dudes who can't jump and he's like goaltending that counts and they're like what it's he's like calling three seven. in the key it's like come on <laughs> three in the key like, Kanye yeah. calls goaltending wow <laughs> I do man. think Clooney should come on this pod though that'd be great we'd love to have you the facts of life I'm trying to think of a Kanye joke because she ain't messing with a gold digger. She ain't messing with a goaltender. Hey, I like it. <laughs> I like like it. <laughs> he's back with Adidas you see mm. that Mm-mm. yeah they, they forgave him Oh, but after the po- uh, anti-Semitic rants? Yeah, yeah He seemed yeah. really uh, he quiet for a while that he won't ever make another mistake. So I'm sure this will be a long lasting Yeah, this is probably it. Well, I think with yeah. Hamas, he doesn't look as bad. That's true. Uh, you know? Yeah. So he's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> I don't think he was doing us any favors, but yeah, there's there's bigger villains out there for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That Alex Jones thing. You know what's bad when oh, Alex Jones- What's when Alex Jones thing? Oh, he went on Alex Jones and oh, was yeah, like I saw defending that. Hitler. And even, yeah, you yeah. know what's bad when Alex Jones was like, you got to take yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. He was like, you got to take it Pump the brakes, man. Oh man! Ah, uh, Sandy Hook. Oh wait, can I? Uh, <laughs> bunch of um, actors. I hardly knew actors. you. <laughs> I started. Off I want to do a bit. This bit never worked about Sandy Hook, but about how like if there's if you believe in crisis actors, do you believe in crisis actor agents? Ah, uh, like some guy like she's incredible. She was in Sandy Hook. She was she, she's possible great. for Pulse nightclub. You know, <laughs> you know? that's fucking great because I got a couple of friends who are really big conspiracy theorists, and in the peak of COVID, when there was like people crying over a lost loved one, I would they'd be like, "That's a crisis actor." I'm like, "Well, I, I'm an actor, and I could tell." Like that's not that's real. That's not yeah. a hired actor. Like to orchestrate that. Like there's no talking to those people. But it's okay. I have a lot of like magical thinking friends, which is you know that's kind of what surfaced during COVID was a lot of people that believe in some other shit. Sure. But, you know whatever. Teach their own. But that's actually a big peeve Whoa. of mine is trying to, you know, like have a conversation with someone who believes in all of that. Create. You know they believe that crystals will heal them. And they that's kind of that- fun though because you're like just go. It's entertaining. You know you meet a flat earth or i'm like that's, please that's, that's, please that's, talk wish, that's a good attitude to have it's like I, I wish i could be entertained more i i get i don't know why it bothers me but it it, uh, it does well, it's 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 maddening because you're like what are you crazy but yeah, you're also but, like eh, let yeah. me listen uh oh wait i think i got in. To, how about another p if crystals if crystals are healing i want to see you uh with a guy with a gunshot wound <laughs> yeah exactly put a right. little crystal next to him let's right. see what happens Some cancer yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys probably can't relate to this one but this is more of the rest of the country might relate to this one because you guys are new yorkers but you do drugs drive you drive oh yeah so there's a thing when you're driving and uh you're 
you're supposed to keep like, you know, a couple cars distance between you and the car in front of you in case they slam on the brakes. You got to give a couple, a sure. little bit of breathing room. So I'll be in the fast lane and I got two car lengths in front of me just to be a normal human. And somebody zips in to fill ah, in that spot the zip and they're risking your life. Yes. And they're filling in the space. And that's kind of what causes traffic, like the accordion effect of like uh -huh. it all backs up. And it's like if everyone just stayed in their fucking lane and didn't be an asshole, we'd have less traffic. And, and, and every time it happens, I got to try not to get mad but it's like dude you filled in my safety zone dude and you're fucking it's like not cool but it's in new york i don't think you guys get that one as much no no i'm, I'm with you on that the the too close to to pull in just it's, the fill in guy or the guy racing next to you and you're racing to a red light like yeah. where, are you, where are we going well there's you know? a comfort with the with the distance that's and what it is fill it in you ruined my your life comfort. we're it's, talking about my life it'd be like if a guy at a movie theater they had the whole thing to yourself and a guy sat right next to you you're that like what are you doing man happen to, dude no way at bars dude. Dude. People do really? It. Yeah, the bar. What do the it too. fuck yeah. is that? They want to hang. There's two type of people. Yeah. The people that are in the airplane that don't notice there's 72 people waiting and they're slowly yes. putting their bag away. And then there's me who's like, like I don't want to be in your way. Let oh, me like, you know. I like, got one crazy. Oh. I was in an airplane and it was me in the window, a lady. And the empty seat. We're taking off. The seat on the aisle is empty. I go, hey, look at this. We got the. Why don't you scoot it over? And she was like, I'm good. I'm like, come on, hit the hit the aisle. Bitch. She stayed middle. Stayed middle. Oh. I couldn't believe it. I was oh like, God, for a second, I thought Mark went the other way that she was in the aisle, and he's like, "Come closer." No, no, I'm like, that's why it took me a second. Take the aisle. What are you crazy? Oh. She stayed in the middle for like it was a fucking flight from Vegas. That's insane. This, this it's one insane. must have been a peeve on the show before. Is when you a long time ahead reserve your aisle or your window, and a couple gets on, and they're like, "Excuse me, would you mind switching your seat so I could sit with my?" It's like, oh, bitch, I've had you guys this. live together. Take a break for two <laughs> hours. I'm not giving up my I window usually, seat yeah. so I. I could sleep. Fuck you. My and now I'm thing. the asshole when I say no. Exactly. no, no. Fuck you. If it's, if it's still an aisle, if it, I go. That's I go the key. Aisle. If it's still aisle, I'll, I'll well, give it absolutely. to you. Absolutely. I will give you my aisle. Right. But, but if you're trying to get me to go window for window, no, 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 kiss no, no. my dick. That's my bitch. point. Like it, it, windows. Only I say for kiss a long my dick, bitch. Sleep, to them. But like, I say. I say fuck you. Kiss my dick. Well, one time I, this happened much, to me. It was like Miami to. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no. I was going to say kiss my dick a few more times. Oh, very important. I gotta get t-shirts. Some merch going. Well, so I met someone in the middle once. I uh, this good Miami couple. I was in Miami flying to L.A. and this guy gets on with his wife and kid, and they're like, "Can we please sit?" And the and I go, "No." And they they made some big stink about it. I go, I'll, 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 "How about this? Halfway through the flight, I'll give you the seat." Mm. So I was nice. To, uh, that's I, a compromise. That's a compromise. But in my mind, I'm like, "Don't you want to be with you? Do you really need to be next to your? You, you guys live together. Yeah. You, take a fucking break and just like. And no offense, but it's not my fault. You didn't book the shit yeah, together. Like, why you. is that on me? What am I, uh, yeah. Expedia now? Yeah, I gotta exactly. change the flights. <laughs> Expedia. But like, I had this with a lady. She goes, "Hey, I think they know I'm weak. They go right to me, and I'm just sitting there. I got my sunglasses on. I'm hungover. I'm gay. And she's like, "Hey, well, by you, the way, uh, you sound like a very weak person." Right I'm now. weak. Yeah. I'm weak. And she's cool like, uh, hey, oh, uh -oh, he's oh no, it's hot. It's hot. Okay. It's starting to get hot in here. It's very, uh, what's the material? Um, Holocausty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll make you thinner. Made by Hitler. What the Jesus fuck? Christ. Hugo Boss, I think he he did the design. Oh, was Hugo Boss the one to make? Because they did dress oh, yeah. good. Didn't they? they looked amazing. Yeah. Pull that they, up. Well, that's, yeah, the Nazi uniforms are, uh, I mean, evil as fuck. But yeah, I mean, they look, they, sharp. look sharp. Hugo Boss has a. Great cut. And, I, uh, I won't wear it out of out of respect. Oh, really? No, because you know what? It's like... Yeah, I get it. But then would you drive a Volkswagen? I think it's different. I think Hugo Boss was like the Nazi manufacturer. Okay. Right, okay. right. I, look, you could cut holes in what I'm saying a million ways. I'm just... We cut if I see it... It's also expensive. I'm like, I'm not going to drop yeah. a lot of money. You know right. what? That's a peeve. These guys, and I might lose you guys on this, but these guys who buy like a $60 t-shirt... It'll be like a black solid T-shirt, sixty bucks. I'm like, I go to Hanes for a black tee. Yeah, I mean, you know, wants, I mean for like TV or something. Sometimes it just fits better. I get. I still don't get it. I'm like, you can't tell the difference right. between my Hanes and that Hugo. Right, right. I get if it's like tattered or has a loose neck or something, maybe. Right, right. But the straight up black tee for sixty dollars, no, it's, it's I don't weird. get it. Do we have? Do we have any? I love this Nazi yeah. with free Wi-Fi. Oh. By the way, how'd that work? Are these mm. neos? I guess not. All right, but yeah. Um, what about Rex? Simon? Uh, I, got, yeah. I, got, I got a peeve. Please. Literally every person weighing in on every issue on oh, social God. media. Oh, welcome like, to the internet. The Middle East, the Middle, Middle, East, the Middle East, 
Like literally the dumbest <laughs> fucking East, people. Midwest. The the dumbest people are like, here's what you have to do. And I'm like, some bodybuilder in Tampa figured it out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you you're gonna solve the, the Middle crisis East? in the Middle East between yeah. like, like get the fuck. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, we're going is, 100 years. Stick it, to giving me bench set tips. All right, like. <sighs> right. <sighs> The like what? Mia Khalifa weighed in. Ah! Oh, and she lost her deal with Playboy. Yeah. What a dumb bitch, though. I mean, like, I mean, Playboy. truly, like, you know, you're a pe- you know, you're a bag of shit when Playboy's like, we can't show your pussy <laughs> anymore. You're too big of a piece of shit. Wait, <laughs> Playboy's yeah. still around? I didn't even know. I thought it was over. It's like a prestige thing. It's, uh, not like, it's, not, it's like you doing Fallon. It's got like, it. Got dude, it. I did show my tits on Fallon. Yeah, you did. I might be my tits. You're doing it hot. Yeah, you're um, getting uh, halfway naked. It's like your Clark Kent all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, without burning the phone in Clarky. Booth. Yeah, that's that's really annoying is everybody. It's like, it's like, can we all agree? You said this once, actually, Sam. Yeah. Can we all agree we don't know anything? Of, it's yeah. so, Especially about the most complex thing. It's the thing. most complex new Experts thing. are at a you loss. You don't need to right. have an answer for everything and just regurgitate something you saw on the internet and think that you know. Like, just just be like, I don't know. And, like, exa- and I'm not even saying, like, if you want it, if you want to post, like, this really upsets me, that's totally understandable. You should be allowed to do that. Uh, and if you want to say, like, this is fucked up on both sides here and we're, we're, you know, mourning the loss of people and terrorism is horrible. But, like, the people that are just posting, like, here's what I think. You're like, well, I don't want to know. Right. Yeah, but for yeah, some yeah. reason, it's been upvoted. But it's just more... Uh, well, that's why we're get, not solving this on Twitter. Yes, is my point. Exactly. Like, that's, like if you're it's, striving it's, for, you're not changing anything, and you're just singing from your soapbox. To, yeah. It's about you. You're making it the it's you about, show. You made the it's Middle about East about you. you. That's it. it. Oh, speaking of peeve, I ah, here's one. Ooh, when a girl posts on their social media or whatever, them like doing charitable work, like the, like oh, some white girl with like yeah. thirty black kids in Africa, like smiling, like bitch, you're saving the world. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and you only you're did fucking it. making it about you. You only did it for the post. It's all you don't about care about these kids. You, you don't give a fuck about the kids. You even picked one where you look hot in the middle of a sea of children, you sick bitch. Yeah. I mean, that's... literally the second it's over, she's like, all right, scat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's no. it. Don't touch me. Ew. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. They can't do it. Sort of tagging that. I've got one. Celebrities Please. pretend like they're down to earth. Oh, like I love thing. that. Oh, shit, is that me? Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> and her Oscar is propping up her door. Oh, so, how is that down to earth? She's pretending like uh, I'm not impressed by. The oh, door. I see, um, I see. It's just a doorstop to me. Yeah, we're right. so Shakespeare in love anyway. It doesn't really count. Hey, hey get hey. in here, Jordo. Hey. hey, Liquid IV, folks. You don't have to be an athlete to need extra hydration throughout the day. Liquid IV's got you covered with three times the electrolytes as a leading sports drink and eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. No matter what you're up to, Liquid IV will keep you hydrated. Hydrates twice as fast as water alone. So it's now available in three sugar-free flavors, white peach, green grape, uh, and lemon lime. No artificial sweeteners. <laughs> Just get an amazing flavor without the gross, bitter aftertaste. I got a pack of these at the next to the kitchen sink. I do one every day just to get the uh, the juices flowing. When I'm hungover, I do two. Yeah. And the flavors are great. I like pina colada or strawberry. I really like white good. Grape. I, I do this all the time too. Hangovers. Sometimes you just like hit the gym a little too hard. Sweat yeah. It out. You, it's great. I love it. Sure. And a lot of coffee is a diuretic. I yeah. Think. And diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier, sugar free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get twenty percent off. When you go to liquidiv.com, use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 20% off anything you get. When you shop, get better hydration today using promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball's back, and DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, has an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down just $5 on the NBA make things even more exciting with DraftKings parlays. String together multiple bets from the same game or build your own parlay against multiple games for a shot at making the payday even better. Basketball is more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code WMBD. That's WMBD for We Might Be Drunk. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just 5 bucks. only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code WMBD. The crown is yours. Mm. Sorry, Braun. Fuck the Lakers. Go Woo! next. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope and Y four six seven three six nine. If you got a problem, I guess. But you guys don't have a problem. Gambling's fun. Yeah. In Connecticut, 
Help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please pay responsibly on behalf of Brunel Casino and Resort Kansas licensee partner Golden Nugget Lake Charles, Louisiana. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets uh, expire 168 hours after issuance. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball. Terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions. Terms for and responsible gaming resources. Thank you, guys. Nice. Jordan, get over yeah, here. Where do we go? You, you're Sit sober, right? right? Hey, this She's is Jordan Jensen. Hey, Simon. Gordon. You have a drink, right? Hi. Fellow Hi. comedian Hi. in New oh, York. Oh, drink. Okay. We'll drink for you. What's we'll shaking? I'll do mushrooms. What are you, I'll super lesbian? What's the outfit here? I'm quail. Here? I'm, I'm oh, you're, qu- oh, Doug Funny. <laughs> I'm queer, man. <laughs> QAnon you remember, lady. Do you remember? <laughs> this dog is... Deceased. <laughs> no, basically, she's, she's hanging in. It's right at the end. Don't you oh ever God, say no. that about Little Winnie? Oh my God, <laughs> she looks like uh, John, the Booker of Stand Up New York. Huh? Uh, a little inside, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon's it's half hot. naked because he's uh, it's, hot. It's very hot material. I'm actually embarrassed. I met you once and I played myself in front of you really bad. I don't oh, know if you what did you? Do? I came up to give you like your credit after a stand up show. I saw you doing. You're sitting with. You're friends with Louie, right? Yeah. You were sitting with Louie, and I was just like I was just I hate myself and I come up to you and you're sitting there after a set you murdered and I just reached over and I thought that I should come give you your props and it was just like very unnecessary no no it was because I could tell like even you and Louis were just like why is this guy coming I went to your little booth area it was at the cellar mm. the downstairs that little area but the other oh, cellar around the corner the VU. and I had a couple drinks and I think I was even on mushrooms and I was like I'm just gonna go tell her she and that happened and no. you said you did so great. I apologize. You don't remember this? No. No. Okay. See, way, I've been living nothing, with this. There's nothing wrong. Back. There's nothing wrong with you saying good set. Like, no. That's, no. We love that. Did you yeah. force a fist bump? Yeah. Yeah. Those are uh, that was it. brutal. The, the too close to the that, face one. That's yeah. What it was. That happens. Well, hey. And, the forgetting Simon. Yeah, to, well, terrible. she never even remember. So no. Norman, I've been, oh, jeez. I've been living with that every day for. Well, no one noticed. Remember, they're not thinking set. about you, Simon. Yeah. Is that? It's, it's alcoholic. She no, doesn't drink. Okay. Virgin. Oh, this one, this one's a virgin. I wish that she's, somebody would. She's a virgin. So mushrooms, but no booze is okay. That's yeah, oh, mushrooms, that's acid. All I mean, I can't okay. do Molly because I'm on too many antidepressants. Oh, gotcha. Oh, really? But booze, just I don't know. It Can you orgasm? I get no. That's what, what I hear. I say they say on antidepressants you can't orgasm. I can't even. Well, maybe that's no. the problem. <laughs> that's my Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with these antidepressants? <laughs> the I women can't. aren't coming. Well, it's ironic because women are on antidepressants to make them chill enough to date, and then they can't come. Ooh. Oh, well, they couldn't come anyway, from my experience. <laughs> the G-spot's a that myth. That mask is tight on Oh, you, it's huh? hurting. Yeah. I am hurting. Really? Really? I, I broke mine. I've luckily got a, a, I got his Incredibles mask. I'm going to take this off and turn I, Asian. My I, eyes are being pulled back. I did awesome. acid with my dad recently. What? I did acid with pain. my fucking Timothy Leary Jr. This guy's I did acid six times. with my father. That's a fake tit. Watch out! It's uh, it soaked really? in, in booze on accident. Yeah, that w- Mark. It was weird, man. It yeah, was, what was that like? It was weird. Uh, I would go shroom before acid with. I, with see, Papa. I used to be shroom before acid, but actually, acid means cleaner. Shrooms get me more heady, and mm. acid's cleaner. Are you guys have a good relation? Uh, working on it. Okay, that yeah, was part of the whole thing. Good for thing. you. Yeah, it was heavy though, man. It's the second time we've done it. My dad's like an old hippie, so it's nothing okay. for him to do psychedelics. But uh, I'd be worried. It was that weird. It was weird. Of course, but was I'd be weird? worried. It oh, would get yeah, too long. Honest. I like, mean, oh, I never wanted you. The abortion <laughs> clinic was closed that day. Your mom's a whore. Or whatever. <laughs> exactly. You know, but it was it was wild. But uh, I'd love to do acid with my dad now that he's dead. That would be that's oh, really that'd be just ideal. looking at the coffin. Yeah, staring Hanging at it. Out. He that was always his thing. He was like, "You can do acid, but you have to do it with me." And I was like, "That's the scariest thing." I could Wait, did he really say that? Yeah, because he was a hippie, but he was oh. worried I would jump off a building, which Where, was very true. Where sure. did you grow up? Ithaca. I was gonna Ugh. say upstate. It feels yeah. like an upstate hippie dad thing to yeah. do. Yeah, and we and I did acid, tripped hard, Whoa. and it was a near death. Really? Yeah. I was on like the front page of my newspaper. Come on, what? Yeah. Pull it up. <laughs> Somebody walked by me and they went, "You're famous," and it tripped me out. And then I got home. Um, type Ithaca Journal. Ithaca Journal acid. And my last name is spelled with an E. Oh. Fucker. Just Jeez, come on, Sally. And uh, 
And then the, you look like divorced I Wolverine right now. This is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I got laid off from being Wolverine. I'm an IT guy now. <laughs> Squinting at the computer. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got here? Ithaca no, that's Gazette. My dead dad. That's oh, my dead dad. My. Oh, this is hurting. Obituaries. Yeah, I don't know how you pull it up, Jordan Jensen. Maybe no Ecuador. That's what it was for. Because I didn't. All right. So what it. happened? Okay. Well, I saw myself on the front page, and I thought that that meant that I was supposed to die that day. Oh, shut up! It, what the hell did. does that mean? I was like, today's the day I'm supposed to die. It's all a cyclical thing. So then I locked myself in a room. Uh huh. And uh, and went in and out of being like, no, I have to seize life and live to the fullest. To no, no, you have to kill yourself immediately, back and forth forever. Yeah. And then I came out of it a new person and haven't done acid since. Oh, hey, yeah. there yeah. you go, Ithaca. You got to do acid. You got to. What acid. else is there Shrooms to do there? I'll do all the time. I did them the other day. Same at here. Fest. And Same. Then, oh, I heard everyone's on psychedelics there, huh? Oh yeah. That's like a big druggy thing. It was One a of the mess. comics was so fucked up that she touched a black girl's hair. I saw that. Wow. That was so. Oh, you were there. I for was that. there. That was it was at a strip so club. It's funny. funny. Good. I try to write a bit about it. You can touch everything there. It's full nude. You can finger women. You can't touch the hair though. <laughs> that gets you kicked out. So funny. Damn. Who was the per- who? Who did she? It was touch? Wine Shank, the poor thing. And I was trying to explain to her. I was me and Kim no, but Condon, who she touched though? Uh, a friend a, of my friend. A lady at the club. Black lady. Yeah, and she was. And we were trying to explain it, and I was like, "Yeah, I just." And Wang Ching was like, "But why?" And I, she was asking, "Why is she mad?" And but I thought she was saying, "Why can't we touch a black girl's hair?" And I was like, "Oh, no idea. That is way beyond <laughs> we my." Gotta, we got to take the sit down mm. and talk about that one for a while. Mm. It's a long answer. Yeah, we don't want a bunch of white people to be breaking this one down. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? I think it's fine. Sure. Next subject. <laughs> yeah. Phoebe Robinson, guys? get in here. I'm, I'm Jewish. Oh, you are cool, yeah. Mark. Uh, I'm racist. atheist. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, gay, trans. Yeah, is that the stuffed? ambiguously Your dick gay. Is doing. stuffed in there, huh? No, this is a sock. Nice. But I'm ambiguously gay, so I wanted a hog. Yeah. But I'll take it out. I feel who were the two actors that were the two? Who was it again? Beatty. Beatty the ambiguously gay do it. Oh, it's Robert it Smigel. It was Steve Carell oh, and Stephen Smig- Colbert. Is that right? Yeah. Wait, Smig- it's my. It's my. Why Smigel? Wait. Michael wrote it. Oh, I got to just do a thing with him. What do you do? Really? I got to do a Triumph the Insult Comedy oh. Dog song live at Largo in LA. And they I did a Sandler song that they had done 20 years ago. It was like a Sandler singing with the dog going back and forth. Oh, with Triumph. wow. And he was like, well, you do Sandler's part of the song. And I got to sit down with them and like rewrite it a little bit and perform it live while Triumph and me were riffing back and forth. And it was like one of the fucking coolest things wow. ever. It was at a strip club comedy show that they do in LA at Largo that was anyway it was cool and I was just honored to work with hell yeah I mean it was just one of those things like it's cool it's a 250 seater fix that that is just Uh, sorry it hurts yeah <laughs> um, but yeah, that's so fun. Yeah, I mean, it was cool to work with Triumph. I mean, Triumph, that was gold. Just, he's like, a legend. Pull uh, up some, uh, pull up Comic Con with but, Triumph or the Star Wars line. No, I how mean, about the uh, the Wiener Circle? What's Wiener that? Wiener Circle. When he's in Chicago at the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all great. He's excellent. Smigel's a genius. I mean, he's yeah, he's excellent. I don't know who any of these people are. You know, you know Smigel. No. What Triumph, that guy? The insult dog. Listen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. wrote for uh, he SNL for a while. No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh. I thought he's he out did. there. I thought he was there reporting on maybe January six or something and got uh, put in jail for a different minute? guy. Thank you. Different guy. That's in a. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> the part where he oh, touches yeah. their hair is brutal here. <laughs> Is that Zach uh, McBrayer yeah. or whatever? Jack McBrayer. Yeah, Jack Rock. McBrayer. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. This is my dream. It's just a, a guy behind this hand, by the way. Oh That's the beauty God. of it. He's just so standing amazing. right there saying this but shit. But the fact that they're mad at the puppet is the best part. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What, what is that there? Water. This suit is my kryptonite. I'm dying in here. <laughs> it's so hot. There's something hot about the muscles sliding off, revealing the skinny man underneath. Yeah. yeah. You're in pretty good shape, is. though, Simon. I'm okay. I saw you. You. I mean, ass naked in Red Rocket. You, you were running. I was like, I do just, I just do uh, pr- uh, Jewish prison push-ups. That's hey, all I do. Hey, body weight go. prison push-ups. Not trying to get buff. Just want to be flexible and mean and lean and be able to run away from danger. Well, the Holocaust invented Bikram. <laughs> all right okay <laughs> i don't think it was i don't think it helped anxiety quite as much <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point so well, you're into hot yoga now man i i go my girl likes it so i'll no, go like it's i'll okay. go like once every two weeks it's just it's humbling i don't, I don't stretch so it's like an excuse it's not, for me to stretch. you gotta stretch 
It's humbling. I like. Do you ever do stuff like that or no? I just came from Pilates. Whoa! Yes. You came? I came from doing Pilates. Yes. yes. I have come from an exercise machine once. Which one? Which, Which one? one? The elliptical? This is so weird. This is so weird. I could do it right now if we had one. Pull it up. When Well, the Prozac. Um, you go like this. Pull it out. And you lift your legs up like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, on your stomach or your back? You're on your back? Like this. You're holding on. Oh, and you just do your legs up? Dude, I have no really? idea. There's something like about the blood pulling down huh. and it crazy. I've done hitting, it like multiple times. We had one right. growing up. Man, it's sad when you can't get your own wife off and she goes to fucking an exercise class and she's jizzing <laughs> all over the floor. Yeah. Way, yeah. A man can never say that. Like, I, I hit the Pilates of the machine and I came all over the place. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not announcing it. I'm yeah. not being announced. It's a really good class. Thank you, Martha. I came actually three times. <laughs> you're you're right. in a plan of Fitness. Oh, yeah. no grunting. Oh. No grunting. They pull the lug. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what is it? The lug alarm? Lug bell, I think. Yeah, lug, lug bell. Yeah. Uh, is this really a silicone tit? Is that, is it that, is. Like, is that you know who that's sent us this? Would... How are you guys? Do you know who sent us these tits? The I already I had oh, okay, about good, 30, good. 30 pieces. Okay, okay. I'm going to be so you know fucked tonight. Who sent us these titties? Uh, who? Simon is. Uh, is Trey Parker from South Park's oh, yeah. wife. Yeah, she does implants. She likes the pot, I guess. Yeah. So what, why does she why have those? these? Yeah. She's no a idea. doctor or a surgeon. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, really? Yeah. What the fuck? Power couple. Wow. I know. I, White that's, power couple. That is a dream. <laughs> that's the dream is to get Trey Parker and Matt Stone on. Oh, yeah, that'd you, be great. Okay, so yeah, who's oh, the dream? Oh, speaking shit. of dream guests. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, it's Prince. You can't do this like Austin Powers wow. is escaping a series of Me Too's. <laughs> <laughs> Austin <laughs> White Powers. Machine, baby. Ian, he doesn't move his legs like this. We went to the rent chair and he was. Do I make you rent? Here, sit down. We're going to move the Aborted baby here. Hold on. There we go. Winnie, yeah. How the hell are you? You know Simon? I'm good. Hello. Hello. How Ian, are you? Ian, yeah, Simon, Austin. Simon, Ian. Yeah. Good yeah. to see you both. Uh, both funny guys. Yes, I'm very oh, excited. Oh, this is exciting to have you here, buddy. Good Thank to see you. you. I'm Thanks so for happy. doing it. You reek of uh, velvet and cigarettes. Yes, I, I got changed here on the street. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good costume. Yes. Did lesbian. you bring that? They brought it for me. Wow. I, I asked for it. Though. You really put the man in the qu quail man. <laughs> Wait, who's Quail Man, by the way? Is that Quidditch? From Doug. Doug. Quidditch. Remember Doug? The cartoon? Skeeter? Doug Cartoon? Patty Doug? Manning? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I remember it, yeah. Well, I never saw it. Man. Doug Funny. I'm too I'm old. My generation didn't watch Doug. Doug. Doug and the Rugrats were holding that network down for a while. Yeah. Oh. Temple of Doom? Oh, oh no. Doom. Oh, no, Temple not Temple of Doom. Doom. You're thinking of... Hidden Temple. Hidden Temple. Hidden, the, the Legends, of, Legends of the Hidden yes. Temple. That was, dude, the best part of that show is when they were trying to... Did you pull this up, Salakis? When they were like, competing in the end oh, and, a, yeah. and a security guard would just like grab them. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Do you think once a guy was like, this is a great way to kidnap kids? <laughs> I would love to go to have like a, uh, where are they now, the kids that were oh, the crag rock. Oh, yes. You know? That would be You'd great. you to go to a lot of graves. It was a cool show. <laughs> or, or a bunch of Double Dare people. What are these yeah. Double Dare people? They're all addicted show, to fentanyl. It was educational too. They do like real questions. You'd have to move up. All right, now we sound like pedophiles. Uh, yeah. Could I have another shot? At also, the really kids were really cute. attractive. Uh, whatever that green monster was. Yeah, that you was great. You know what? I'll do, Mark. Are you doing one that? more? I got, I got a what full uh, IV I'll, here. I'll do one more. Wait, what's in can that we do IV? Sugar? Uh, can we do uh, booze. Drinking a little. Oh no, I have Is some left. She relapsed already. No, you didn't. No, I'd be sucking everybody's dick if I had. You know what I mean? How long? Give us some booze. Hard time there. Yes. How yes. long have you been sober of alcohol? Oh, since uh, uh, oh. October, two oh. years. When did I get into the cellar? Two years ago? Two mm -hmm. years ago. Hey, look yeah. at your whole life turned you. around. Well, I had not been drinking for a long time, and then I got in, and I had a glass of wine. To, oh! She's yes. talking about the wine cellar. And there's no alcohol and then I had in this, a glass right? of wine oh, to celebrate, and I didn't like it, yeah. so I kept I, going. But okay. that was the last time I drank. You feel better, right? Ooh. I just don't like it. I get slutty. I get sleepy. My face gets red. I get puffy. Ah, oh. uh, yes. And I always, like, yeah, I hang out with people. You end up doing shit you don't want to do, and you're like, why did I do that? Just to Yeah, that's true. Does, what about does marijuana do the opposite and keep you out of trouble or do it make you insecure and paranoid scary yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah it could go either way bite my yeah. tongue off let me yeah. see should I bite my tongue off right now should I peel <laughs> yeah. the flesh off yeah my isn't that weird but okay so you really are not left with much because no alcohol no weed occasional mushrooms mushrooms are the best I don't but, eat but, anything besides mushrooms but no. the right amount you saved me on mushrooms oh, you yeah. loved no, me on you mushrooms no you were fine I'm not me oh, I don't yeah. do any of you that you can't do you. anything I can't do but mushrooms but you're more of an addict really what are you a drinker sober what are you drinking this is not alcohol how long you been sober Eight 
ears. Good for oh, you, dude. April 2015. Good for no you, dude. Weed, no I understand. No I understand how fucking hard that is. I yeah. think I've gone three months is my max just on. Yeah. A yeah. Three, yeah. You are so strong. You can't even fit in that. Little I know. Outfit. I'm busting out of the seams oh here, dude. No, God. it's a, it's literally it's like the a hottest. Come true for me. We've been here for four hours, and yeah. I'm, I'm getting I'm overheating. Let's stay for four more. What do you do? <laughs> are you in a relationship right now? No. What do you guys do on a first date as sober people? Good I question. I tell them, I go, I, I don't drink. Uh, we can get coffee or go for a walk. <laughs> They're like, but I feel no. like sobriety is hot right now. Like people are going sober. It's it's way more popular than ever. I is guess sober but still, bars. Like, I'm not I don't go hook on dates. I girl just fuck been... comics. What? Yeah. What'd you say? All right. I don't go on dates. I just hook up with comics who've seen my entire act and know everything about me. Yeah. So they know that approaching me sexually is terrifying, and then. So I'll, sure I'll hook up with a girl down. and then a couple days later go, I've been listening to your podcast, dot, 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 oh, that's dot. the worst. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pee -pee. the worst. But at least they know you. At least they're yeah. like, well, I've known every bad thing he's ever done and said, and I'm I've still had, willing to fuck I've, him. I've had fights with girls that I date over shit they've heard me say on podcasts. I yeah, always like, wondered if that you're happened. You're fishing. Dude. Yeah. Right. I, I've never, and this is not a slight on any woman I've ever dated, I've never... I usually spend so much time with them that I've never been like, you know what I need to do in my spare time? Spend more time with them. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what a podcast crazy is. lady uh -huh. shit. I would uh -huh. never listen to a podcast a woman yeah. I was fucking I was always off. wonder when yeah. you guys talking shit, I'm like, are there girls listening in on this? They must be in sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten in trouble for a bunch of stuff. I oh, good. I got in trouble with Matt Richards recently. I got in trouble with a guy that I was dating because I said libertarian stuff. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> what, a guy got mad at you for that? Yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a deal breaker. She dates absolute. Hey, 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 oh, really? Right. This guy's. Any guy who's like, that's inappropriate. You're like, all right, we got to go. Yeah, well, the girls will do that, or they'll go, you didn't refer to me as your girlfriend. You said that. And I'm like, you got to kick rocks, lady. Yeah. But also, don't stop blowing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to I'll tell my wife that. Don't put stuff in their act because of it, because of their. Well, that's why I had to stop dating other. people, because I was like, look, I'm having more fun now than ever that I don't have to be like, do they work? But when I'm in a relationship, I, I do not talk about them personally i very much keep that boundary up but yep. i Me like neither, but the second we break up i'm like i'm gonna bring this fucker down oh, Here's yeah. the, size yeah. I'm gonna yeah. the second things go south jordan turns into a fucking oracle of just uh, this person's uh, life yeah she, yeah, she oh, fucked no. over trevor bauer i don't know if you heard about that <laughs> what is that? i outed, I outed, I outed hassan minaj <laughs> dude this is i awesome. felt fake titties at skank fest those big fake titty girls they let me grab them all over. They're hard as a rock. Hard as a rock, I don't, dude. I don't love it. Yeah, it's not great. The first time is exciting. I remember I hooked up with a girl with big fake tits once, and I was like, the first time you're like, this is incredible. Yeah. But then you feel real tits again, and you're like, yeah, I'm going back to the Yeah, organic. you yeah, want a little squeeze. That's how I feel about trans women. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you feel? Like, oh, I need that. to go back to the organic. <laughs> how do you feel with Joe DeRosa wow. getting all this love? Good! And you're like, Finally. I've been doing this for years, oh, and yeah, then Norton's been, been doing it before all of you. F F word because of it. You know what? Sorry about that. No, hey, good for DeRosa. He's finally realizing he's cool. And <laughs> he's a friend of finance. I support it. There Let's you go. go. More guys need to go to the other did, side. Did I All right. At Skankfest, he goes like this. He's like, he's like, we're talking upstairs and he's like yeah joe DeRosa, you know he got blown or sagalo's telling us he got blown by this trans woman da, 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 da. and um and ian goes I, she she would have blown me she would have blown me too uh, if I had asked her. and we were like no that's not really the director we're not going in like isn't he a lucky boy we're going into, isn't he might maybe a gay man well he loved it he's all yeah, in now good. does that mean you're gay or no, i mean i'm, I'm a novice no, with this no, stuff no, so. it Is doesn't that, mean you're gay. just drugs and sex and rock like what's the i've never been Wait, good vibe fun that? vibe is it a lot of drugs and fucking is that what's going on like, what is not, not fucking. is it burning man for comics what are we talking there's about? very little comedy happening really it's a lot of podcasts oh so it's more of a party uh, there's it's no a party it's yeah. a big party it's okay. basically everyone that pays for lewis's network gets like their dream to come true once a year <laughs> yeah, they, all get to exactly. see they get to meet sam talent <laughs> yeah, whoa yeah yeah, yeah make yeah. a wish for people that are going to hang on for a few more years <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. no it's great it's, Why it's is all it so these fun? comedy fans go they get to see you do stand-up podcasts you say hi you say hello it's really fun it's you a gamble. party for all the comics yeah you gamble. it's, it's comic-con yeah and we all get to hang 
hang out because we ketamine. never really see each other all in the same place. Right. So it's it's really nice for everyone. Okay. Yeah, I've been and hearing you, about it for years. Don't you don't have to censor. You know, sometimes you go in a green room. You're like, can I say retard around yeah, this yeah. lady? Mm. Probably not. Uh, but Skankfest is just full and on go nuts. There's no industry there, so you yes. don't have to like have yes. conversations with people you don't how give long, a shit how about. How long until you think they'll go to that though? Because it seems oh. to be blown. it's oh. Emily was there. The comedy store Booker was yeah. there, but she's cool. She yeah. can hang. But yeah, you, and Lucy were there. They're cool. They're different. They're alcoholics yeah. and yeah. Uh, fun lady. I mean, they're yeah. strip clubs putting yeah, labia, yeah. 20s in labia. Yeah, and we had a thing. They had each night was like uh, uh, someone hosted a party at the strip club. And uh, to oh, the you ran night, the fucking show, man. It yeah. was This guy can run a strip club. It was yes. impressive. I was watching yes. from a distance, yeah, touching that black lady's hair. Yes. Yes. Experimenting. We, uh, we, they gave us a bus, and uh, I rallied the troops. I got us all on a bus. We went to the strip club. And it was, I got to be like a mother hen of like ushering people over. I was giving people ones. I was like, have you had enough Patron? Okay, good. Do you need some ones? Okay. It was so fun. It was you impressive. You gave me the $1 bills to give the strippers, but I was on mushrooms. So I would hold it out to them and then they would flip their b butts into my face. And it freaked me out so much that then I would disappear, hide behind well, the wall that is TJ Miller. And the women th thought that I was like grifting them. They were uh, like, you're luring well, first us. First of all, Jordan goes, what do I do? I go, you throw it at him. So she overhand throws a dollar bill like she's in a fucking league of their own. And I didn't then, want to be too close. And then a girl popped her ass over, and when she twerked, her pussy fell out, and Jordan went, ah! and she just scurried away. Her not body gay. Parts. I'm not, it's weird. I'm me. not a big. Are you a strip club guy? No, I was thinking about that earlier. How I'm not because I forget why I thought because it's very uncomfortable. I don't know where to look. Do you look them in the eyes? Do you look at their tits? Do you look at their butt? What do you do? Everything. It's uncomfortable. I, I know, but it's right. weird. And 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 the people. It's very. I just look at the dudes in there, and it's sad. Sure. Well, I like going when it's a group of friends yes. and I get to see them interact. I'm not going to be like, I want that when you no, do it's, it's a goof. I just feel that. like I'm it's getting hustled. It's a fun thing. I don't yeah. want to pay to get a hard on. I get a hard on for free. I, I can't get hard. So I was <laughs> I was going up and going, may I give you a piece of currency, milady? Yeah. Yeah. And they're not oh, like that. One. They do not like that. She went and saw one go, I don't want that. She threw it on the ground. She was walking through like a duchess with these huge tits and he goes, a currency for you. And she goes, I don't want this. He gives him his yeah, yeah, dollar yeah. back. It yeah. was a Best Buy gift card. Let's be honest. That's You're drying was. up strippers with your character work. I know. Uh, I know. He's like, "Fuck the improv guys are here again." I go up. I'm like, "Banaka!" And I start talking to my asshole like Ace Ventura. Well, those strippers were aggressive, man. They were trying to make yeah. a buck, and they were not I, taking I no I had, for an answer. I had a breakup once, and I went to a strip club solo in Minneapolis, and I was so Whoa. depressed. I was so, I was playing acne. That's I was sad. So, I was the, so Minneapolis sad. Part. I was like, I don't know what else to do. I'm alone. I'm just, and I went. And oh all the women that came up to me were like too young. I couldn't do anything. They were, yeah. One of them was like, she must have been like 22. And I was like, I'm sorry, do you have anyone like older? And she was like, really? And then another woman came up to me and she was like, I guess like, you know, tw she's like, oh, she, I'm the oldest one here. I was like, how old is she? She's like 27. I'm like, I can't do this. This sounds like a great strip club. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, really. Where, well, I'm raising where is this location? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, just a question. Yes. Um, Simon. Statement, rather. Uh, <laughs> I went to a strip club in New Orleans yeah. when I worked at MTV in the 90s, and this kid had never been to a strip club. He's really young. We're like, he's like, what do I do? I'm like, give her a dollar. He put four quarters on the. Oh, the you can't up. bring the, the temple amazing. to that fucking strip club. Holy shit. I, there's a strip club in New Orleans. I'm not going to say which one. Hustler. But they do a thing where if it's your 18th birthday, they bring you on stage, and if you get a boner, Yes. You get all the money, or you get none of the money, because oh, people are good. throwing dollar bills on stage. But if you don't get a boner, you get all the money. So my friend, Whoa. we That's went for awesome. my friend's 18th birthday, like basketball gay man's shorts. ATM. <laughs> <laughs> Ass to mouth. Yeah. And, That's uh, that game that we used to play. What was it called? Spin the dick. Where you would like slowly. <laughs> Chicken. No, you'd get closer and closer and closer until they would cut you off. Yeah, oh, chicken. What? Is this molestation? Gay chicken. Wait a minute. You, you go like this chicken. until Whoa. you tell me to stop. Okay, well, I'm going to chicken myself. Yeah, thank uh, you. <laughs> I was going to let you go for the for the bit. All right, so what happened? We I was, have all you love. <laughs> it's a bit, I was terrified. It's a bit. Like, thank Mark, God I have six pairs of underwear on. <laughs> Mark, it's hard. We lose all our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that game has a name. Chicken. No, When you no. put your hand on someone's leg and go to touch their penis, they 
don't have to keep chicken. yelling the same thing Sorry, at me. It's not going to make me change my mind. No. It's, nicotine. it's called chicken. It? Chicken. You, you're chicken. not being able to see through your you goggles. Like this? What is it? Yeah. It's called chicken. Give it a goog. I don't know this game. Did you guys ever say it's a flavor? Gay chicken. Yes. Gicken. Oh, gicken. Gay chicken, or as I call it, a turkey. <laughs> Sorry. It's nervous. It's called nervous. Call Tell, it nervous. Remember, it tells a little bit about like uh, what, what was it about chicken and fish? That's what's healthy. I said we start serving penguin. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tell's always got the best. He's got it. He's that's got the other it. Night, the other night, Ari walked through the the room at the cellar, and Tell goes, "Ari, uh, you look like the landlord of a box." Ah, uh, <laughs> what a poetic way to say homeless. What the fuck am I smoking here? Sunset. <laughs> Sunset. Ah. Have a little sunset. That's nice. I'm okay. Sorry. I'll take, I'll take the real it. thing. I honk this, is, this is all of us yeah. spreading COVID right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, super spreader. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. I want to guess. Whoa. Oh, I talked to this guy. He's good. Really? He's good, yeah. I'm mentalist. Excited. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm good. Is he going to read our minds? I think. Yeah, what does oh, a mentalist yay. do? God, you want to see a real haunted we'll house? Open that. that thing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the scariest Pandora. episode you ever recorded. <laughs> She's got all the He's abortion ghosts. He's going to sit down look at me and say, I have to go. <laughs> uh, uh, the ghost of babies in there. <laughs> She's growing on you, I see. Oh, my God. Wait, whose dog? Her. Is that Gizmo? <laughs> That's not Gizmo. Who is that? My I just realized she's a hot dog. Oh, Who's that's Gizmo? So cute. Liz's dog. Oh, right, right, right. Liz right, has right. an old ass pug, too. Isn't it weird that they both have old ass pugs? Are they surrounding your life? Maybe you have a. Maybe the mentalist can tell you why. That's a good point. You know, mm. maybe your spirit animal is a decrepit, ancient, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. half blind dog. They're just such fun dogs. I, I love pugs' face are like comedy, man. Oh, yeah. It's like they have such comedic faces. A funny looking yeah. dog with the tongue out, the oh, one so eye. They a bad rap. They're the same as French bulldogs, pretty much. But now they're the hope. Yeah, but they're version. not supposed to exist. Mm. That's true. They're breathing. Neither they're like, are you. Act. Okay. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> my God. they're like Chinese emperor dogs, so they're supposed to be like right by your side. Hey, how's how's you doing, here so? we go. Yes. Uh, I was a mentalist. Out of costume. Yes. Hey. Really terrible here. I showed up. Yes. yes. All right. Give, give, the, give the man a chair. How you doing, sir? Comedy. Are we doing this? Oh, <laughs> it feels like a Kyle Dunnigan character. Come on, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Get a, uh, get a mic on uh, the mental. Oh, you got one. Okay. Rock. So, Oz. I, Fellow I don't, AGT alum right here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, oh, go, I didn't go very far on it, though. <laughs> You're too good for them. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. But I, the, on AGT? The guy who beat me was actually an incredible mime. He, the guy, Tape Face. Tape Face, yeah. He's incredible. Oh, he's yeah. incredible, yeah. He's yeah, got he's like a Vegas residence. People residency. were like, you lost to a mime, and then I'm like, Tape Face. They're like, oh, shit, he's good. <laughs> yeah, so, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah, strong. Yeah, I feel bad for the poor woman who was abducted. She's like, I can't watch Tape Face. <laughs> it brings me back. <laughs> so I'm the guy who fucking put me in a <laughs> cellar for nice nine years. too. Well, you, How far did you go on it? Us. Was he was he talking during that and behind the scenes or what? He talked oh, to me. Yeah, well, good yeah. question. Yeah, I, they, they try, I don't know what they do to you, but they try but to get you to talk shit about your fellow do? contestants, oh, and I'm not going to do it. They try to watch you and have cameras on you and have you talking shit behind the scenes you. while you're watching them. Oh, really? And try and your, like, get a gotcha moment where your face is like, oh, that sucked. And like, what'd you say? <laughs> what is, I, I don't quite know what a mentalist is. Please. So, I mean, should we get in it? Like Please. My yeah. Let's get this going. I'm the lame one who can't drink. I got a gig right after this. I thought this was hey, tomorrow. So do we. Superman. Yeah. What's yeah. your name? Simon. Simon. What's a mentalist, right? What's Whoa, here we go. Have you seen MTV like in the 90s? Like it's yeah, where it's like, the fuck have you been? Oz? Simon. Yeah. This guy's royalty. What's that? Nothing. Pick a number. <laughs> One to a hundred. Sixty-nine. Oh. Obviously for Ian. Why are you showing me my name? Oh, because <laughs> uh, that makes it oh, sure that, that I'm not okay. thinking of Ian. Okay, I got, Mark. It, I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at the struggle right here. He didn't All right, uh, pick. Let's go here. What's your name? Jordan. So a magic trick is like I would do something right now, right? But there's no trick. One question. Okay. And if you're just listening to this, I just wrote a no number. Did you all see it? You I all saw, saw it. it. I no, didn't see I didn't. it, but I'll, I don't trust I'll you go with you. <laughs> I saw it. Purple velour, you're out. You're good at what you do. <laughs> One to 100. Was there a reason you picked this number? Yeah. See, look at this. I bet. Damn. Do you think you did a birthday? This guy hasn't blinked in minutes. I think he might have gone higher. Oh, he's a nut. Sam, crossing this off. This guy's coming in hot. I'm going to go. What's your name? McCoy. McCoy's watching like a hawk. That's Done. a cool don't name. Don't tell him the number yet. Grab the marker. Let me see. Oh, I didn't even know there was a dog in here. I wrote 12. Jeez, she's it's right gonna here. It's going to kill me. Jordan. It wasn't 12, was it? Is this the camera we're, we're filming at? It's that one because I want to make sure I show it to the camera. Was it 12? I'm going to be so mad at myself. Tell me. Tell Jordan. Tell Sam. What are you guys supposed to be, by the way? With the ambiguously gay duo. Uh, it's SNL? not that ambiguous. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, what about, go, uh, you go with Simon? What about Austin Powerbottom? 49. Tell him what I wrote, please. <laughs> you saw Tell him what I wrote. 
I crossed out 12. I wrote down 49. Oh, man. What'd you say? 49. Whoa! Is it because of the 49ers? And I'm 49 years old. That means we're winning the Super Bowl this year, and he got You it. are winning the Super Bowl. Oh, there my God. Go. How'd you do I'm that? I'm the NFL mentalist, bro. I've been Whoa. on with every team. How'd you, How'd do, you that? do that? Have you guys not seen these clips? Guess no. her age, will you? No age. Uh, <laughs> no age. She's 12. I don't get slapped. Uh, come on. Okay, Hold so on. wait. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to look this like that at 49. This opens me up to a great Holy joke shit. from Sam. I, I love the tweet where you go, the guy made fun of you, and you go, is that Fuck you with a duffel bag with your act in it? I Okay. Yeah, one in a hundred chance. Where's that? The, the, Dude, how the, did you guess? No no I did a gig with a, I did a gig with a magician, and he was kind of a dick. And he goes, "Oh, are you gonna? Uh, what, what did I say to him? You you know it more than me. What is it? I'm a fan. Uh, <laughs> something where he goes, uh, you, you have some good jokes in there, and you go, do you have Oh yeah, something? I'm, he goes, you're the one telling yes. jokes. And I said, I'm the one who didn't bring a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was my zing on him, which I did say to a magician, but you know, hell yeah. Which is how totally did you guess 49? Yeah, I'm, that's weird. You know how? Yeah. Mark, Tell us. Mark, I'm not gonna Yo, tell. It's his trick. You don't know. Hold on to this. Hold on to this. I saw. Mark, here's what I want you to do. Think of someone. Don't think of your wife. Too obvious. I think- never do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah baby. Shagadelic, baby. Yeah. Think of someone if you're having a birthday party and somebody you invite, but you'd want them to be there. So, okay. You know, maybe not. I got it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you got it? Someone I want to be there who somebody I know. Somebody you know. Somebody you know. Great. You got someone? Got it. Somebody that, you know what, if they were having a birthday, they'd invite you, I hope. Oh, a different person. Different, different vibe. Okay, yeah. okay. I didn't mind. All right, all right. I got it. You know what? Jot this down. Go over there. Write this down. I don't oh, want. I don't want geez. anyone to see. What is She's all watching this? behind. This guy Koi hasn't blinked in minutes. I don't trust him. Yeah, <laughs> this is impressive. Write down this person's name. I love how these Address, guys so. Chaos. You know what? No phone number. Okay. But wait, do you what? know this person's birthday by any chance? Oh, well, that's a power uh, these, move. Even when, if you know the month, even if you know the month, don't tell chaos, me. So you're concentrating uh, on like, the else whirlwind, that. and then okay, they do their okay. little stuff. The first name and the month yeah, and yeah, whatever day you think it is. I won't fact check. If it's wrong, don't worry. And uh, I mean, this is a fucking group. I, I'm, this is gonna be a big app, I think. I'm excited. Oh, what are we doing here now? Nothing. There's no trick. I just want to get rid of Mark. You know? He disappeared. Murdered Mark. Oh no, no! You hired a murderist. You coming back, Mark? Sorry. All right. Now, I'm, I'm a stickler. Oh, hold on. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it in half. Come on back. Yeah, baby. I'm a stickler. Before you say anything, you didn't write the last name, did you? No. So even if you show them, they might not know who this is. Wow, come on good. back. I'm good. How'd you know I didn't write the last name? Dude, right, what yeah, the fuck on. is happening with you, man? This is crazy. Okay. The N-word, that works. This, uh, you know what? For well, I'm glad we didn't invite Godfrey because <laughs> I was nervous oh. about that one. <laughs> oh, God. Jordan, since you're on to me, grab that note. Yeah. Do you think she knows this person? Yes. Don't look. Don't look then. Don't look. You Take definitely know him. Him. Her. I'm saying him. Her. It up. It's Esty. What's your name? Sam. Damn. Damn. Hold out your hand. Grab it. Take a little. Yeah, take it all. Make sure I'm not cheating. Let me grab this. Oh, if this my person girlfriend? had a birthday party, would they invite you? Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. You know what? You just thought of it. Watch his face. October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Look at that expression right there. Did you see that? Bam. You know what you do? When you think of who you're going to invite to your birthday, you got to go tit for tat. Did they invite me? The person you just thought of, what month is he born in? Oh, God. April? April. That's what I thought. Wow. How the hell, the mentalist. Yo, what the fuck is happening, man? I gave it away. I got no poker face. How, how'd you give it and away? And you know what? I think it's a friend of the podcast. I know who it is. I, it's this... Gary Veter, isn't it? Wow. How the hell did you do that? What? Open I'm up the wall. I'm Open scared. I'm scared. Up... Open up the wall. If it's a photo of Gary, I'm kidding. Uh, don't take my credit card. What oh, the hell sorry. is she doing? She's a woman. Twist this around. <laughs> this? Wait, no, no, no. Okay, Inside. okay, okay. Open up. Oh this my lord! Up. If you got a picture of Gary in there, I'm calling I don't the want police. A picture of Gary. And there should be a card. And a zipper. And read the note on the back to Mark. What the fuck? Wish Gary happy birthday for me. Oh my god! Dude, what the fuck is this, man? All right, I don't this know is, how he did is, that. What the fuck? What is kind happening? of sorcery shit are you yeah, pulling, bro? Really? You didn't really? write it down on anything. Ian, Ian, Do me. Right am I or am I not a I'll gay man? man. <laughs> we can all answer that one. We don't need a mentalist does for it that. Even count if you're on Molly. I don't think it does. Uh, <laughs> Ian, yes. Picture this. You got a cast and crew in this room we got some bodega cat whiskey by the way everyone needs to go to that website that hell is an yeah amazing website. this guy's killing this is, it this is a bargain Holy yes this is a bargain. you got that right Fatty. i wanted the two hundred thousand scotch but i decided i'll, I'll, I'll splurge <laughs> that Ian, a baby forget about mark forget about simon who's still hurting based on the 49ers i think they're going all the way by the way yeah I do. everyone thinks i that think right so now. too all right uh, you you i am impenetrable 
Go. That's that's. Let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> not his asshole. Unless you give me some penetrating okay, can yeah. of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you could sit down, yeah. visualize this, yes. and everyone. I want them to know before you came out of that elevator. Did you know who I was? Oh, what that was going to happen? Ever met me in your life? Spoken a word? Not Never. A clue. All right. I thought you were a you, magician. You, well, I brought a steel case. In. <laughs> yes. If you could sit down and have dinner, Jehovah's Witness. Yes. I want you to picture this. Visualize this. Yes. Ultimate celebrity dinner guest. You and this person Ooh. hanging out. Dead or alive. Man, woman, anything. Epstein. Gender fluid. Hold on. Your dad is not a celebrity. <laughs> All right, Jordan. Oh, Jesus Christ. I saw you go there. I I'm a damn man. But I know you did. Okay. All right, I'm going to read this guy. I said dead or alive. Ian's got a smile. From ear to ear, he's not going dead, guys. Sam Rill's got dead guy vibes written all over. Him. Yeah, you seen Joy? Yeah. That's just my Leonard Cohen is a child. You seen <laughs> I think it's a guy. I think he's alive. If it was a woman, you'd be more excited. And you know what's crazy about this is that I've met this person not once but twice. You I'm have the guy. Flex. Be honest. You did not tell anybody this. You haven't written it down. Nothing. I hold didn't. on. Hold on. Stay right I there. Didn't. And Close you your made eyes. me look him up in the Close green room. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Look at this. If you pick don't this say, guy, don't I'm say, gonna don't say, that's a real photo. Shit. Okay, okay. He came up Holy earlier, shit. actually. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I just put this up. I just met Ian, he just thought of somebody. I pulled this up because I had this. Can you see that, oh, Peters? No. Does that come oh, clear? No, it is. Be for real. Who are you sitting down? Oh, no. Ian, open your eyes. You're picturing it. What's his name? Who is he? And should I say it first? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. No, say Bill no. no. oh, oh, Really wow. fucked up. Wow, you look like really a. Up. We, oh dude, man. Can you write it down? No, I see stars right now. Ian like, just starts beating the shit out of us with that cane. <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking witches. Oh man. No, how did Jordan, you he's got a knife. Get he's got a knife. Dude. It's what serrated. It won't go deep. <laughs> oh, you were know the that. Oz, oh, what the no, fuck? We need the mic back. Oh no, I broke your mic. I'm sorry. Wait, did you manipulate we his past? Did you did you talk to him? Even Winnie's paying attention now. Look what you've done. I didn't touch him. No, because you didn't hypnotize him. How did you? The mentalist. You gotta tell us how you did one of those. I'll tell you everything. We get really drunk, and then uh, tequila is my drink. But no, I'll drink right. Get, get him a drink. drink. Get him a drink. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, Whatever you want. Jordan, here's what you do. We gotta Dude. move the mic down just a little bit. Sure. Did you win ATG? Uh, you should have. Third, third. Okay, well we got Bronze medal, anal trans. Very high ranking for Judah. Very high ranking. <laughs> how do you do? Uh, hey, you're, you're a mentalist. How's yeah. this Israel Palestine thing gonna turn out? Not Ooh. good for that, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. good for either of them. Not yeah. good for anyone. Yeah. It's it's a mess. Yeah. Uh, do <laughs> the mentalist get serious? <laughs> <laughs> but on another note, yeah. <laughs> things are looking bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna read his mind. Okay. How about Ooh. it? Okay. Okay, do this. Shake hands. It's getting weird. I don't know. Unreal. Just freeze right there. Freeze right there. Just till it gets awkward. Okay. Jordan, look this way. You're my witnesses. You are not going to guess what's in his head because I don't want to know. Okay. Sure. You're not going to guess a name, a number, a celebrity. I've done it all. The, L- the, the Lolita Ian. Express. That was insane. Yeah. It's going to be, watch this. If I reach over and I brush this across Sam's healthy head of hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to feel something right there in your hair. If I... Poke his knee, you'll swear to God I poked your knee. Whatever he feels, you feel. Like, like, like. Oh, finally he'll come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mark him off to complete him for the love of God. She needs Somebody it. blow this man for him. <laughs> I call sex draw. Okay. You ready? Sorry. Sex draw? No. Extra. Look this way. Oh. Jordan, She's close your eyes. Too much sex talk. Can everybody see you, Jordan? Mm-hmm. Jordan, Unfortunately. Don't peek, don't peek. Did you just feel a poke on your right forearm? Yes. Did everyone see me do that? Yes. Yeah. Hello, Simon. Yeah, yeah, Ian was. still shook from Bill Murray. You yeah. poked mine, okay. right? Did, yeah. Did everyone see me do that? Yeah. Yes. 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 Show arm. us on poke Jordan arm. where they touched okay. you. Her eyes yeah. are closed. Jordan, yeah. you peeking? No. All right. I need to ask you a question. Okay. Her eyes are closed. I want you to tell everybody right now what happened. What I do to you? You poked my right forearm. No. After that, you brushed my the top of my nose. Oh. Was that weird? No, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do you feel that? You put my nose. Counterclockwise. Wait. Sorry. Oz, Oz. Jordan, what? Oz. tilt your head up. Look at her eyes. She is not peeking. I want to know when. Do you have read receipts on your texts? No, God, I never, I never God, touch them. No. Simon is sweating. I hate Superman's it. about to rip that off. Jordan, no peeking. Okay. How about? Oz, oh. Oz. Wait now. Suck me off real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of magic. Did you feel anything yet? No. How about right? 
Now, anything? No. My theory is at the moment I do something to Sam, it goes through his hand. I don't know why he's wearing those gloves. It goes all the way over to her. Cosby. Do me a favor, Jordan. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. What did you just feel? Something right here. Oh! Dude, my what God! God. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell's going what on What the hell is happening? His nose and his chin. This is voodoo. No, 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 no. Anyone could do that. Do it. <laughs> all right, now we got to do Rex. Close, close Rex is eyes. having a mental breakdown close over here. Close your eyes. All right, ready? Here. Okay. Right, ready? So, uh, yes, Jordan and Sam, hold hands. Okay. <laughs> Sam, you. shut your eyes. <laughs> shut your eyes, Sam. Shut okay, him. so Simon's still upset. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, whoa, Jew, Jew beard over here. He's crazy. Okay, Ian's still thinking about Bill Murray. Mark's gay. Okay, now, Jordan, uh, here. Here, I was on AGT. Here, now. Sam, I did not touch you. Your eyes are closed. What did you just feel on your face? Something in my ear. Yes, it was oh, kind of close to the God. ear. You should have just laughed while he was That was kind of close to the ear. No, because what I was feeling wasn't a tingle. It was a direct f paper on my face. I it guess. I did little... guess. Damn it. He guessed. You don't have the You're powers. You're fucking good. As, as the way the, it's the done, the when he reached good. over me, did it, what, is it possible that this sleeve touched me? Because maybe he has a... No, no, no. He was far away from my face. He was on it. He was on you it. You could manipulate... Sam, get your phone. You could... Man I don't know. Oh, here it is. How far you could manipulate a witness who was like, where on the doll was I touched? Is it this thing? Right? Is it this guy? Here's my phone. I just yeah. pointed the doll. Bro, <laughs> I'm so impressed. This is incredible. Go to your contacts. It wasn't a tingle. It was a I gotta take my You truly felt it. Did your glove work or no? Oh, thousand percent. How is this? I thought he took the paper and went over my face. Okay. Wow. Context. We need to discuss at some point the guy, I don't want to say the name, who hired you, who's got like kind of a fetish for comedians and magicians and brought you over in New Jersey okay. in the middle of the night because I've done that gig multiple times. Awful gig. Orthodox <laughs> Jews. What? Amazing. Awful I don't know gig. what that is. Anyway, that's Orthodox Rogan. Jewish oh. gig okay. Okay. Jersey. Shoot. Look through your people. Look through context. This is okay. incredible. Context. What do you got? got you. Cosby. Why is his body close uh, to mine? Wasn't he leaning over me? Yeah. Does he have a tail? <laughs> Heavy padding. Tail. There is a tail. It's, it's a nub. It's a but tall tail. Kind of hurtful to call. Do you ever tell anyone how you do these things? My wife knows a lot. Oh, really? oh, I'll marry you right now. I like that. No. That's it. What, so what do we got? I don't know. Oh, pick, you know what? I don't want you looking dude. through and being like, this guy's an asshole. I haven't talked Just to her. Just pick a random. No, no, no. Do this. Tip down. This look, look. is fucking Turn nuts. it downwards. Yeah. Okay. Look at this guy flexing with the Amex Platinum right there. Whoa, Getting the sky clubs. Oh, black right, card. Start scrolling. Okay. No, no, no. You, oh. you, other. Here, do this. Hold it for him, Mark. Look underneath. Damn, this thing's heavy. Is it scrolling? Yes. Don't. Linger and butt dial. Can you guys see this, Simon? Make sure. You gotta get the barely, barely. Make sure this thing is scrolling. Here's what you do. Barely. You scroll. No, one away. No. Lock. Wait. No, what? Oh, start scrolling. No, no, it's uh, he's got like a cover oh. screen. Oh, God. Look at it. Whenever you're done, say I'm done. Easy there, G spot. Bring it close to your body, G. Right there. No, close to you. Spot. Right there. Let me ask you a question. We give him a book right now. He opens it. Where do your eyes go when you open a book? Middle of the page, top, or bottom? I would probably go to the top. <laughs> I don't. I always look at them. What do you do? I go middle. Top. Yeah, everyone's on a book. Your He's bottom, not a top. Your bottom top. or top? You're both. Oh, I, I, got top. <laughs> I top from the bottom, baby. Come on. Low hanging fruit, guys. <laughs> That's another thing you could have called him. <laughs> <laughs> you want name at the top? Do this. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about in thirty seconds. See if it timed out. Look at the list. See the name at the top. At the Joe, top? Where he landed? I talked to him. Look at the name at the top. That's what you want. Do you know this person? I don't. No. Better. Even better. Lock your phone. You got people in there you don't know? He's a popular guy. Okay. 100% didn't shift posture, nothing. It's a guy. Am I right? It's a guy? It is. Yeah, it's a guy for sure. Ooh uh, Think of his first name. It's not an email address, is it? No. Okay. It's email. It's a pain in the ass. It's a hot this mail. I'm going to judge this person. Uh, think of how many letters are in the first name. See how he nodded? Did you see that, Simon? I saw it. It's too fast. He's a hot it's too mail. Too fast. If the name was Ian, you don't count. You know. If it's three or four letters... Come on, next time it's Mitchell, Alexander, you gotta count. It's four letters, isn't it? Uh, it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. my lord. I didn't come here to get shit wrong. All right. Gary Veter again. <laughs> Gary Veter again. Hold on. Yeah. You freaked out when he did that. That was super funny. But he Why said did he doesn't do that? know him. It's not Gary. It's not. No, but when you did that, you got scared. You looked over at him. Hold up. <laughs> Be for real. Yeah. Sam, you took your phone out. You scrolled anywhere. I said pick any name. You said I want top name, bottom, middle, anywhere top. in there. You could have picked anybody. You didn't write anything. You didn't whisper anything. Okay. Tell us, what okay. is this guy's first name? Greg. Greg. Oh! Wait, how many Greg? My ass. One or a bunch? I mean, my brother's Greg, but other than that, it's I, not your brother, Greg right? Stone. Oh, hold on. Greg Gutfeld. Stone. Hold Gutfeld. On, hold on. I know Gutfeld. Greg, Gutfeld. Greg, think of the last name. Think of the last name. Sounds like he's a member of the tribe, but it's questionable. Jewish? I can't tell by the name. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jordan is so uh, I think wet met right this now. Guy, like, I'm freaking out. Like five years ago, it's going to click later. And you're like, how the hell do I know him? That's... Who'd you pick? Your whole phone. What's his name? Greg Hodes. No! Oh! Dude, oh! Hot, man. What? You're freaking good. me out, man. There's you're freaking evil me out. Happening. This isn't fun right anymore. Oh, I've worked Jesus. really hard to get away from that. This was a comedy really podcast. Wild. This is scaring me. You, you'd think you'd have a better suit. What? I mean, <laughs> after all that, come on, man. <laughs> Jesus, this is insanity. This is what? crazy. Wait, how, can, you, can you tell us how one of those works? No. I don't want to know. That's whole gig. No. What are you, you kidding? Is Simon disrobing as the show continues? Yeah, That's it's just, I, I see a whole lot of collarbone all of a sudden. <laughs> one that I can't, I, can't, Simon, I can drunk? understand a few of them, nah, but yours might I be. can't get. Yeah, how, that, because you didn't write it down, did you? No, he made me look at it, a picture of him earlier in that room. Did you hack into the Wi-Fi or something? Is there a Wi-Fi? I'm not yeah. even on Wi-Fi. Nah. I don't know. Does, what does Wi-Fi even mean? Does anyone know? Wireless fidelity. What does that mean? Would he show you a picture? No, I like it. That's good stuff. He made you? What do you mean? Did something happen back no. there? In the, in the waiting room. It was room, consensual yes. at the he time. He goes, Google yourself. Now, Google. Google. He was already Googling himself for the record. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Google yourself. Now, Google one person, dead or alive, you want to see, have dinner with. And I did. And he goes, okay, just keep that, save that. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I need the photo. So how? Man, he, this is impressive. I don't want to know. I like, I like it being a mystery. I, I disagree. This, this yeah, I got it right now. now. This is incredible. Very well Impressive, done, Impressive, scary, so weird. Cool. What a all gig. Of it. Can we have Guys one and girls? more? Is yeah, there something that you're born with or is it a I learned know. behavior? Uh, I bought a book on Amazon Prime like six weeks ago. Whoa. No, but truly, is this something as a child you're like, I'm going to tap into some dark magic? No, I did magic. I mean, this is like 13. I need to find a way to attract members women. of the opposite sex. Right, right. And I'm like, a weird way to... card tricks are working really well right now. Yeah, women like money. You ever work at the Magic Castle? No. What, you don't, you're, it's not, that's that child play. I like you're pitching him ideas. Yeah, come with me, kid. It's I got a cruise. I'm too much of a capitalist. That, that requires a right. big pay, pay cut. So you're freelance? Yeah. Good. What do Good you for do? you. Corporate gigs. Corporate and TV. Yeah. Oh, you must wow. clean up. And podcast. Wow. A lot of um, podcasts. When do we get on Rogan? I have not gotten on Rogan. Oh, we'll get you on there. Breaking. You should be able to know this. I know. Can you do Good point. stuff? I did Shane, Shane Gillis's podcast. They, they were shook up in Queens, man. Yeah. 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 You just hide something behind your back. And yeah. Yeah. Like, Yo, dog, it's fucking yeah. gay. Card <laughs> <laughs> tricks are gay. <laughs> You're shaking dude's hand. As soon as I touched a chin, it was chill, a chill, chill, chill. Can you do one more? Yeah, let's do it. Don't he stop. Keep it. going. He just fucking knew it. He close, your, close your eyes. He puts his balls in your chin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Think of a letter. It's a T and it's a bag. Do Rex. Do, do Rex. Yeah, do Rex. Rex. Rex, yeah, let's Rex do another is. one. Let's do another one. So listen, he thought, this is funny because every time I do this, I write down a name, collect uh -huh. names, and I write down names of famous people that people are either fascinated by or want to meet. Yes. Okay? Mostly alive, you know, because I don't know, it's primarily, here's what I want you to see. 50 cards, mm. Ellen DeGeneres, Tom Cruise, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Brad Pitt. Is everyone here familiar to you? Uh, sure. Yeah. Science, Ryan obviously. Gosling, you just got aroused. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Trey, Jimmy Fallon, Oprah. Anyway, you're going to pick somebody. But I can't have you oh. just look through and say, eh, that's my favorite. Because now, what if I looked you up? What if I follow you right. on Instagram? Okay. It's too okay. obvious. Okay. I want it to be spontaneous. Okay. Kind of random. Here Reach we go. In. You can see them all. And these uh, are. Yeah. Here, yeah, 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 yeah. Reach in. Reach make in. Sure ra ra randomly Grand, grab one. Grab random one. grab one. Crazy. Random. Okay. Random, random, random. Random, random, random. Get one. Get one. Get one. Boom. Get one. Well, hold Got on. It. Hold on. One more. One more. Ian, you wanted the last one, so yes. go. Hit it. Grab one. Go. Are we supposed to see these? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Jordan, cover my eyes so I don't see a thing. Cover my eyes. Oh, my God. Don't say it. Show everybody. Show the cameras. Make sure I can't see. Is it your dad's name? Me, uh, both of us show? Both of us yeah, show? Yeah, whatever. Dude, show everybody, whatever. I Look, have I been saying this guy's don't name. Say don't say so much. Name. I was going to get this tattooed don't the other day. Remember Sam in Vegas? And Mark, okay. look at these cards. Don't, don't tell me later. They're all the same. Men, Dude. women, athletes, actors, All different. Actors, black, comedians. white, gay. Yeah, everything. Okay. I don't know the gay part, but you have to Ellen. Jordan, can I open my eyes? Good yeah. temperature, well moisturized. I'm not putting Thank Sam's you. hand on my face. Sorry. <laughs> this is crazy. Put it back. Get sneaky in there, Ian. Dude. I mean, go. I'll just both, go. both, both. But boy, you're going to shuffle. Put it in, put it in. Okay. She said, okay. You do easy. it. Easy. Shuffle. Like, do like a, like a Relax, shuffle or whatever. Relax, Are we getting go. all this? Yeah. All right. Where'd the Roban go? Who knows? Let me grab the cards. You should know where that is. Get rid of it. <laughs> all right. If your person Dude. walked in the room right now, would you recognize them instantly? Yeah. Huh. Because it's a celebrity. I'd recognize Watch, him. watch. Look at the hand posturing. Like this. He likes the person he's trying to pretend not to. Yeah. There's a little, it's mixed body language. Mm, he is mixed Definitely race. a guy. Well manicured. Uh -oh. Ryan Gosling. Oh, yeah. Ryan my Gosling, you know God. What? 
Uh, Ian, you said you want a tattoo, so how about this, gang? You want to end on a high note? What's a, what's this? this Light card. Nice card. Yeah. It's not that exciting. I give this to you. It goes in your junk where you forget about me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're gonna remember this for a while. I'm gonna ask you to do our podcast. Watch Hold this. on. Let me finish right, the go. thing before you start booking. Scissors. <laughs> Here we go. I'm starting with hair. Oh God. Oh, if you God. do what this guy looks Whoa. like. Yeah, this is going to This is, this, I'm going to shit. Did. Oh, Instead baby. Studying at the University of Michigan. Oh, my Go blue. God. This there, is appalling. Your person's not smiling. Look, first time in the whole thing, Ian's not smiling. Your person's serious. And you know what else? Earlier, you thought of Bill Murray, didn't you? Out of anyone, you thought of yeah. Bill Murray, alive and well. But right now, you're getting somber on me, my man. I think this is a guy. Am I right? Could have been a man or a woman. A guy. Tell us all who... Is it that you're picturing at this very moment? You said you wanted a tattoo. I'll do you one better. What's his name? Say it. Elvis Presley. King. Everybody say hello to Mr. Elvis. Oh, this is, this is insanity. Is this Holy shit. How is this possible? Wow. I've been talking about Elvis wow. Presley so much lately. The king. Dude. King. <laughs> Simon looks just devastated. This is. It's just, you know what it is? It's just weird and it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Can I have wow. this? I'm giving you this. Hold on. I'm giving Dude. you a little, a little something to take it home with. This is fucking... You must be you good do? in bed. No, you don't, Spit Jordan. it out. Spit it out. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan knows how you're Jordan doing it. she knows how you did it, I you know. freak. She knows it. He went like this with the cards, and they all had a difference of, of names. Oh, names. Okay. And then this stack right here had the same names, and he gave you one and you one, right? So and explain you this, idiot. <laughs> how did he do that? Because he knew you were going to pull Elvis Presley. <laughs> Still That's still impressive. There you yes, go. really. Still impressive. Wow. <laughs> That's fucking I weird. mean, <laughs> That's a good Elvis clip, Dude, too. That is wild. Huh. I Holy have shit. a print of Elvis in, in, in framed above my television. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. In, 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 in a gold frame. Ian, so I've does every 18-year-old mall goth. Everybody what are you talking it. about? Nobody has that. That's not this that crazy. This guy is special. He's a mentalist. Okay, and he said it was a guy. He doesn't see gender. So yeah. That's really impressive. Are you sober? No, no. I So you could be work. intoxicated and do magic? Very much so. Great story. Is it better, one of the better magic ever. drunk? Drunk magic? For me or for the it's audience? For you to be drunk, can you say It's not as good, but I'll tell you one of the best helicopter. stories ever is I used to carry on tricks specifically for people that were either super high or tripping. Uh -huh. And I was in Amsterdam pre, I was in Amsterdam pre everything being legal. It's like 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And a Bulldog Cafe, all these Americans were on shrooms. Dude. Best moment ever. There's a trick I do. It's more of a card trick than it is a, like a mentalist trick. Where you hand somebody a card, they pick any card of a deck, they hold it in their hand, I say, whatever you do, don't blink, and I snap, and the card goes from being regular size to mini. Mm. And this was like the, maybe the seventh trick I did for them, so they were already pretty shook. The dude on mushrooms literally looked at the card, looked at me, left the cafe, they couldn't find him for three hours. Whoa. I had to go on it. it was actually, it became kind of sad, but it was still a great reaction. Went to, that's what my dick does around here. There's a mini. Don't worry, we find him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, Mark touched my dick earlier in this episode. That was very funny. Did I Jordan feel nipples. it? Did Jordan feel it? Her, uh, my uh, nose. Her clip went like this. <laughs> yeah, her cock flopped a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was a fucking, this is a banger. Shut up. I mean, how, where, how do unreal. you follow that? Is that? Like, where do we go from that? Like, where do we go from that? Like, where do we go from that? to leave you at this point i gotta like disappear and go gotta, to a gig gotta make paid. us come or something so yeah. okay so you tour the world yeah wow. primarily corporate events can you talk to the dead i can they don't talk back uh, mm -hmm. this is cool man it's fun stuff fun thank stuff. you you seem upset. I am. What I'm Chris perplexed. I just, it doesn't make sense. You came in a great mood. I know, now, now I'm just here. Can I please, can I please Jordan, 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 can I hit your vape? Yeah. Man. Who's going to win the election? Which one? Coming up, the 2024. Trump? Okay. Yeah, what are you going to do? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that should honestly be his motto. Is, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's me. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to yeah, win. Yeah. Great material for Shane Gillis, though. That was yeah, nice yeah, I'm yeah. Well, I think it's nine. Nine. guys. Will the Phillies win the World Series? I'm not. Oh, I'm not amazing. I guy. love I Bryce Harper. I, I, yes. I, I mean, I'm I'm out because I'm a Yankees fan. But man, he's fun. To, they're they're mm -hmm. a fun team. They're really up the Phillies. Oh, I yeah. was uh I was watching. I just saw a clip of uh, DeSantis on Bill Maher, and he goes, "How's the campaign going?" And Bill and he's like, "It's going well." And he goes, "Let's be honest. If it was going well, you wouldn't be here." <laughs> That's a, oh, yeah. That's a pretty wow. funny great moment. Line, great line. Great line. Wow. Yeah. Damn. DeSantis is so unnatural. He's not great live. He's not natural. You got to get his album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any like, what are the coolest? Uh, you say you do sports teams. What's the yeah. coolest sports team you've done? Do you watch Hard Knocks? Sure, sure. Yeah. Episode two, I did something with Aaron Rodgers. Do you see that thing? No. Are you the one that told him not to get the vaccine? Yeah. <laughs> that, was me. that was absolutely me. You got to watch it. I, I just don't want to spoil it. He uh, 
Should I tell you what happened? You yeah, so, pull it up. Uh, he takes a deck of cards. I tell him, look at any card, think of it. Uh, I'm not doing it for you right here. So you're going to be like, do that to me right now. And he looks at any card and I say, close the cards, hold them in your hands tight. And then uh, I, I. He just holds up. Is that an Achilles? Yeah, what the fuck? It, was, it was a snapped Achilles. It was a photo oh. because it's from the future. Uh, no, too soon. So literally, I got about 100 text messages and tweets after being like, did you fucking do this to him? Yeah. And so I told the guy next to him, here's a list of 50 animals that are never teams, like giraffes, zebras, goldfish, like teams mm. that no NFL. Pick one. Just open the list, pick one. I go, what'd you pick? He goes, a goldfish. Uh. And then I go, open your hands. When Aaron opens his hand, there's the deck turned into a, an aquarium, like a little deck with a goldfish swimming around. Uh. Oh, wow. We got I can't believe you see that. I'm Dude, wow. I see it. Uh, and then next week, I'm on uh, for the up, Michigan right? game, Michigan, Michigan State college game day with college football fans. Sure. Bengals is coming up. Packers. I do watch stuff in the NFL. Wow. Oh, yeah. Why did you pull stuff off Ian's phone earlier? Because I would like to do that with people I date. <laughs> Ugh, She's like, this guy yeah. is just a friend of mine slash mentalist, but I'm going to need you here on second date. Yeah. yeah. First date, still okay. Second date, skeletons in the closet. If I promised you that I would not tell anyone, oh, it's going to torture him. Will you tell me how you did that thing with the phone? He with can't the do guy. it. It's his job. This guy. is like my Larry David moment, where Larry David has the curvy enthusiasm, where he's like, the kid's like, "How'd you learn this trick?" Oh yeah, and he's that like, was a, well, great a magician scene. told me. He's like, "I'm a magician." He's like, "No, you're not." Like, yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna wring your neck. <laughs> Have you ever met Larry David? He was dressed as Superman. That kid. I haven't. Mark, Just as good in person. Just in yeah. good in person. Yeah, I met him once. Tall? I was terrified. Is he tall? It's pretty tall. It's five eleven. Oh, that's okay. tall. I looked it up. Man, he's, <laughs> you've met Larry David. I met. I, I told it on the pod last that, time. That, that he was viral. complaining over one dollar about a golf ball uh, situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Viral. Simon's wow. buzz, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I'm, 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 in, I'm actually a little buzz, but more just in fear and shock. <laughs> Are you this. trying to figure out how he did the trick? Yeah, it's more just like, how, yeah. Do you have a book annoying. anywhere I, in this room? A book. We Maybe don't like to read. Unusual. I think so. Yeah, we I don't read. We would have been shocked what, if there's a book I, somewhere. You look like Superman after a bender. Three <laughs> if he's got him. After going to Mexico for a week. He just saw through the wall Lois Lane fucking someone else. <laughs> he's oh, like, I'm dead. He's he, fucking he, Lex I Luthor. I didn't have the superpower. <laughs> you look like Superman in Hollywood land. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever gotten fought because of this? Fought? Yeah, has anybody been like, I'll fight you? Not really fought, but I've had some weird moments because I used to work at a lot of mob restaurant, mob restaurants back in the day. Hell yeah. And so they'd come out of jail and they'd have these like parties. Yeah. Where it's like a mob party where yeah, it looks no like wives invited. Get your fucking shine box. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very shine box esque. Yeah. You, you have this like look where somebody gives you a look and then you just realize you're just kidding, but it got real serious. We for got a Mein Kampf and Offerman. What I think, do dude, you know what I God. think of is you know the scene where Polly Walnuts goes to the to the guy you this, can see the dead. The psychic. The psychic. This queen. There's all kinds of bodies. And he's like, where the fuck did you figure that out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started throwing the chairs. <laughs> God bless Polly Walnuts, man. Nick Offerman, has he been on here? Yeah, he was on, he did the, he last was on one. the most recent episode. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. So here, do this. You didn't know that, Metal Should have known. Uh, <laughs> known. Nick uh, Offerman fucking rules. We love yeah, him. Good and guy. he gave yeah. a Bodega Cat a nice plug, too. You got Let's that do right. this. This is his face. Is this good? <laughs> Stop. Somebody <laughs> stuck this note in here, so I don't even know. Uh, so, uh, Uh-oh. What? Who wants Uh-oh. it? Who wants it? Should we get Jordan in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Jordan. Jordan Santa Claus, to be real. She's like, yeah. I'm going to figure this out, damn it. Yes. There is a way. I'm not Harry Potter. She's There's on any something. depresents. Simon. Yeah. Let's uh, each of you get a book. Who wants, which, which one you want? Oh, of these two books? Well, they're not mean, mine. Did wait, I give you uh, these? Of the two Because she's going to dissect this. Did Take I, a book. Did, okay. These are my books. Have I, I will these? be giving you. Okay. Boom. Okay. Here's the game plan. Here's the game plan. Okay. We're going to do this in two ways. Are there photos in the middle? Yes. All right, I don't want, you know what? He's going to pick for you. Here's what I want you to do. Yell out, stop. Stop. Look at that page. Tell her what number it is. Tell her out right now. Out loud. 300. Wow. You want 300, 301. 300 even. Good move. Right. You go to either 300, 301. 300, 301. Not enough pages? Not enough pages. Damn it. Shit. Simon, be a little more premature okay, this sorry, time. I'll be like, like, oh. Oh. Yell, okay, like, yell out, stop. Okay. Mentalist. Stop. You're 182. failing. 182. Okay. Why? Well, I, I on assume the close on the cop. even, but go to that. Hold it close to your face. <laughs> well, that's my seven. Shit. <laughs> still sorry. And, and, uh, you still got me. One eighty-two. Okay. We got it. Stop me. Biden's age. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> and I want you to look at the first word on the page. <laughs> well, well, we're not a steam you see here. It? <laughs> Statistically, <laughs> the first <laughs> word <laughs> might be the and if he the like like three letter words, two letter words. Boring. Is okay. it more than three letters? Yes. Okay. Oh, Same boy. deal. You pick any page. I don't want to number nothing. I'm going to stare Sam in the face. No, George, stare at me. 
As I kind of riffle, stop. Just, well, wait, I'll go slow. I'll go slow. I'll go slow. <laughs> Make sure I'm not looking at him. No, stop being you. Okay, stop. Wait, do you want me to stop? Or <laughs> just, just go, stop no, go again. Keep going. Go again. Right. Is that in the cellar? Good photo. All right. Yes. Yeah. Stop. Do me a favor. Look at the first word on the page up here. Yep. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. Is it more than two or three letters? Yes, it is. Close the book. Close, Close the book. it. Close it. All right. I just picture this every night at your house with your wife. She's like, shut up and just eat my pussy, all right? I love the games! (laughs) It's false on so many fronts. Uh, (laughs) How many fingers are in you right now? (laughs) Shut up, shut up! Just put them in. Hold up your pussy. All right. Oh boy, it's this Mexican. I almost want to get this wrong on purpose because it'll cheer Simon up. No, no, keep uh, fucking with him. Ready for this? Yeah. Pick any letter. Mix up the letters in your word. Mix them up and just grab one somewhere in the middle. Just grab that letter out. You got it? Yeah. Look at me. H. You just think of an H? Oh, no, she was Dan, you changed. I about, know you yeah. so well. <laughs> you <Hold> hard R. <laughs> <laughs> think of your word. It was a weird one, wasn't it? He liked it. You know why? When I said stop on this page, it was yeah, yeah, good. Like he was happy because if it was an easy word, he would have wanted a different page. You stopped anywhere, anywhere. Think of the first letter. Think of the last letter. What'd you just do? It's either a, it's either J or G. Is it ending in a G? Interesting. J. It's a J. Yeah. Yeah. J with a G. J with a G. Be honest, Jordan. No Wait tricks on this one because she wants to figure it out. What happened to J? You picked any book. And he picked a page. Wait, you change your mind in the middle. What word did you pick? Weather. Weather. Oh! No! He controls it. No! No, sir! And Absolutely you know what I feel like doing? No. I feel wow. like we need to just make no. it rain. Make it rain. And you know what they Get call it? Get him out of here! Legal tender. Tendering. Is it tendering? Oh, tendering? What kind of word is tendering? What the, what the hell, yeah. man? You yeah. 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 yeah! What kind of word is tendering? Oh is happening? A word? Wow, he Simon grew up in the tenderloin. Like Love me tender. Uh, That's an Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 This is how yeah. conspiracies are born. Yes. Wow. You're not helping the Jews with the control of the weather thing, by the way. Holy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the out fuck? Out the balls. I, I thought he was writing down his this word. Episode, this episode, oh. this episode is off the rails. You got that right. Uh, it's Holy too much. It's shit. Too much. How did he do that? Weather. How did you not open with that one? Leave while did you you're memorize ahead. every damn wow. verse? God damn it. All right. Even Winnie's enjoying this. Winnie Man. Dr. Dude. Oz, everybody. Wow. Later. Oh, Holy oh, shit. You got my vote. <laughs> yeah. You're Later, not getting. Getting. Holy you Thank you, sir. Guys. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Really killed it. Incredible. That was I mean, incredible. unbelievable. What are we doing here? I think we're hugging it out, Simon. Yeah, there you go. Take his wallet. Take his wallet. Awesome. You, you want any candy? Friend. Candy for the road? Yeah, hell yeah. 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 Let's do this. Pretty impressive. I don't know what's Simon, going on here. Simon, you're looking like a chick that just gave up right now. You're just... <laughs> like a chick just... Yeah, you got your high heels in your hands. Lex Luthor right now. Yeah, that's true. This this is... Is... I don't know if you know, this is packed with kryptonite. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, kryptonite. Wow, the mentalist wow. is also a <laughs> <laughs> sexual predator. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible for a non-Jew to be a mentalist, or is it only a... I, I, there's is not too many. Yeah, Jewish there's community? something inside of the water in Israel. Yeah, okay. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Lies. Blood. Lies in this yeah. Magicians. Yeah. Like David Blaine, David Copfield, Houdini. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's the worst. Yeah. He's a Jew that's bringing on unnecessary suffering. That's <laughs> <laughs> We've got enough going on. Yeah. There's uh, no need to put yourself in a box. Mm, right. You know I mean? Dude. David Blaine. This. <laughs> that one's bad. Hey, I like yeah, it. We're back. I like it. We're back. Fuck you, David. Now get the Blaine. fuck out of here. <laughs> Plain pieces. Oz the Mentalist, Ozzie. everybody. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, yeah How about awesome. David Copperfield? Later, All right. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody check your pockets. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jeez. Oh, wow. my God. Holy that was, hell. Uh, that was something How else. How the fuck did he do this? I that guy know, should be man. way more famous. I'd never heard of him. He's, do, at, he's doing very well. She is examining he's a big yeah. everything in her What a get. Right Hands okay, off he to went Matt like Peters. This. He flapped you the book. Yep. And flapped then you, you said the stop. Yep. And he somehow managed to switch it to what he wanted. Yep. 
And then that, he knew the page number on mine. I, I got know. it all figured out. I either way, he was he good at it. Weather? Really good. E- either way, woman ruining magic for all the fellas <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, magic, yeah. magic, 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 magic. Just Johnson, another woman Johnson. not letting Johnson. the fellas have fun. Yeah, wow. come on, we're, Jordan. We're borderline having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> you were literally about to throw yourself off a balcony. You're like, how did you know people like Elvis? <laughs> <laughs> how did you know I said? I listened to him one time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like Ian is like the perfect prey for a magician. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was totally, totally could have been like totally. violent. And you've been like, my grandmother's dead mother's cousin was violent. Yes. How did you find that guy, Peters? No, I booked him. I got oh, that was you? Wow, wow. Good job. Wow. Good, good job. job. Come on. Good yeah. You think I don't have this podcast's best interest you at heart? Nailed we it. had DeRosa eight times. We could have had him. <laughs> DeRosa's dead weight. <laughs> Hey. That was awesome. <laughs> DeRosa's wow. the mentalist. Oh, I'm fucking sad. I don't know. <laughs> What's the point? That's yours, man. So this is my first time trying Bodega Cat. I remember hey. you guys came up with the name. You guys were exploring names. We're like, yes. And it became Bodega Cat. Yeah, yeah, we had Fat Cat, but that was tasty. Yeah, yeah, Bodega Cat. I'm going to try it for the first time. Ooh, Ooh, baby. 12 years sober down the drain. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah. It's got a hickory undertone. It's got a nice auburn cherry bite. It's good. Flip it yeah. from Tyrannosaurus Flip Rex, baby. baby. Jordan, if we had a whiskey, it'd be called Rat Juice. Ooh, rat that's tempting. Yeah, Rat, rat Juice. <laughs> rat Juice. All right. Why Guys, Fat Cat? Bodega Cat. Bodega Cat. Why, why'd you want Fat Cat? Originally it was Fat Cat because I think it's just it's like fun. it sounded like high society and silly and New York yeah. Fat also, Cats. We were thinking of things that are like what makes you happy when you see it and no one's not happy to see a fat cat. That's, That's true. true. The opposite direction. You went from fat cat to broke ass. Bitch. Well, <laughs> tell me who doesn't love a bodega cat. Bodega. Yes. You happy. You're in they, a everyone loves bodega. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I love yeah. cats. No, they <laughs> pop in from behind so, so. like a cereal box and you start petting one you're like this is fucking yeah. this is the best. It's this is New York, best. baby. Yeah. So it's, yeah, Bodega Cat became the thing bodegacatwhiskey.com folks yeah baby and uh, we, yeah, should, baby. we should wrap this yeah, up baby. quick plug <laughs> MSG Theater November 4th Ooh, please come wee. to that shit New York City baby is this plug time sort of plug time okay plug so I, shit, and then I got uh, I got uh, the, the Sweet East is in de- uh, yes. limited theaters December 1st a uh, really fun movie they did and guys I was offered a tequila sponsorship didn't do it I was offered a vape sponsorship Whoa. didn't do it I chose to be better than you guys and go healthy with this so I started a men's skincare line Line what called the- Mox, okay? And it's basically just the same kind of shit that you use of your girlfriend or your wife stuff all the time. It's face wash and a serum and it keeps your face looking younger and healthier and it makes women more attracted to you or if you're gay, other men attracted to you. So it's blackface. So, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to leave you guys all with a box of my <laughs> new company, younger? Mox Skincare. I'm, I'm trying to do something positive with well, my Well, you life. look incredible for 61. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you very wow. much. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is my new company that I, uh, I, I am actually co-founder of so it's not just like oh I'm working with I'm actually part owner no Good dude you. I, yeah. you do look incredible there it is yeah, yeah. always mox yeah baby yeah. no wife no kids is really the secret but anyway what, what does mox mean uh, it like moxie. moxie oh moxie yeah you know yes, mox. I got it, I got it. Okay. And, and, and it's good stuff so I got all you guys a boxy of moxie oh you can use it too. It's bisexual. It's true. Yes. It's true. Hey, so is she. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we love you, Simon. I love you guys. Thanks you, for having man. me on. This yeah, was a real whirlwind. Oh, is yeah. Is it whirlwind? Yeah. Whirlwind. 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 So you're whirling in the wind? Yes. Check out being Ian with Jordan. Being Ian. Being Ian with Jordan. Our podcast. I can't wait to come on this one. Yes. Oh, it's a wild time. It's crazy. New episodes every Wednesday. Patreon.com slash b and pod. November yeah. 3rd, Amityville Music Hall. Come and see me Ooh. in Long Island. And guess what? I'm recording my first special December Whoa. 3rd. Yeah, baby. The Cutting Room, two shows. Ianfinance.com for tickets and all my dates. Thank you. Jordan filmed hers there, and it's fucking incredible. Check her special out. It's great. Ooh. Everyone yes. watch Jordan's special on YouTube right now. Jordan's hilarious. Thanks. I love the fact that Lewis put these out, and his are the lowest numbers. Yeah. That's oh, fun. Yeah. It's hilarious, uh, yeah. No, Jordan's Lewis. special so good. Check her out. Yes, Check it Jordan. out. Should I, should I plug dates? Plug yeah, dates. Yeah, plug anything. Right, I'm coming to L.A. in October. I'm coming to Cincinnati, we to might be Utah, to that. Burlington. Yeah. I don't know what this comes out. Rochester, Syracuse, 29. Albany. I really wish I could fart right now on Please. the mic so hard. <laughs> Rochester, Syracuse, Rochester. Albany is the triangle of I sad know, right I there. Know. But, it's uh, only one-nighters in each. Well, oh, go supporter. Jordan's hilarious. So is Ian. Thank you, Uh 
I'll be coming to Australia uh, next oh, month in, in November. Oh, my I'll be in Australia all month. Uh, Brisbane, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, and then I'll be uh, back at the end of the month. Uh, Tampa, Vegas at the win, motherfuckers. Let's go. Hey. Uh, and then uh, Fort Myers, all that shit. Buffalo. Ooh. I'm back in clubs for a minute. The special is going to be in March at the Wilbur in uh, Boston, but. I'm coming a bunch of places before there, so come see me on the road. I hope you come out. Uh, Philly, Springfield, Missouri, all that bullshit. Do you jack off in every hotel room, you think? Oh, God, 100%. Yes. Right? It's part it's of the deal. Something like, comes over you. Yes. Well, nice. Okay. Just have to make sure on all those well, cities. Also, you'll when come. you're in a relationship, you're like, let me just get the poison out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, here. I remember I told I a young couple. Today. <laughs> <laughs> he was drinking well, Sam's poison. <laughs> I, remember, I remember a young comic was like, how do you not cheat on the road? And I was like, oh, I just jack off before yeah. the shows. And he was like, yo, that's fucking genius. I was like, I don't know if it's genius. I think it's just, I think it's just a thing you do. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. I'll jack off in your hotel. And uh, The Beacon in January. Come on out. All we'll right. Sell yeah. two shows and get some Bodega Cat. Beer yeah, Jew, baby, anything? Yeah, Bodega Cat. I'm t this is good stuff. I'm not just saying that because I'm here. It's good stuff, Thank guys. you. I enjoy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, what's the Japanese word for after you come to be oh, clear? There's a word. That? I did, oh, and I didn't. Oh, you gotta do it on the microphone, you oh, stinky man. son of a. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so God. sorry. Oh, I went through you, the velvet. Will you I, wash I your didn't ass? Do it. I didn't fart. Yeah. The metalist made me do it. <laughs> That'll Hold stick on. in your it nose for a while. Yeah. You're fucked. Oh, oh. but it came out. All right, let's All shout right. out a little Milky Way there. Oh, Mark, but, uh, Mark's gonna <laughs> give me pink eye one of these weeks. Well, thanks for listening. Happy Halloween. We oh, are. Sorry. We truly do love you guys for for staying with us every week. And he what smells a, it over there. <laughs> what, what a special. Uh, and and uh, and if you haven't seen, also another shout out. Watch Simon and Red Rock. Red as Rock, well, which is incredible. He's incredible in it. And uh, thanks, man. And and check out all his stuff coming out. And, and he can't plug everything because of the strike. Yeah, the so. strike. Oh, oh that's right. Good stuff uh, happening. Good stuff happening. And yeah. uh, and and subscribe to our YouTube and and leave us a nice review everywhere. And, and we appreciate yeah. you guys. Have a happy Halloween. Woo! Woo -woo! Like I remember her And I